так. For over a hundred and fifty years, parents have turned to poor. Delete. 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 We're not going to go really long. Also, I may not be able to read chat tonight. <laughs> mm hmm Let's just see how crazy it gets. Mm-hmm. But in response, let's just vlog for... One thing I can vlog about is I went to the movies. Yeah, I went to the movies uh, three days ago. One of my favorite things to do, you know, go see what new movies are. And... Mm -hmm. mm. Mm -mm -mm. Good pizza. Um, yeah. <clears throat> Haven't got to do that in a while, so. Mm hmm. Little homemade pizza. Mm-hmm. And courtesy of those two. Awesome. And your foot and that one. Mm, 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 mm,
Ooh. I don't know why I'm not saying anything. For a minute, like, I literally drifted off into thought. <clears throat> Think about what just happened over the... <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, I just got home from a friend's house, man. Pretty much the same thing I was thinking about, to be honest. And uh, it's kind of a good thing I wasn't talking about it because... Yeah, something you just shouldn't be said on stream. You know, as far as you know. Yeah. Yeah, hey, quite frank, that's a personal interaction that, uh, yeah, not many people would be glad if you just put it on blast, put it out there in public. So, yeah, something interesting happened tonight. Um, yeah, kind of serious, man. It's, uh, yeah, I don't, yeah. Yeah, I mean, I'll be praying for him, man. That's all I can say, because that was, no bueno. So, yeah. On a brighter note, <laughs> so I actually handed Diego. Um, you guys know Diego. He's on a lot of my streams. And um, long story short, he just co-commentates. You know, he's my he's my neighbor. So, but uh, yeah, like yeah. On a note to self, in thirty minutes, go look in the freezer because yeah. I actually gave him a little change for some free sodas. And then right as he left, uh, I talked to one of my people who live here. They said, hey, man, we're going over here and we're doing this and we're doing this, 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 and this. I said, hey, one of the things they said is uh, pizza. I said, oh, don't. It's, uh, yep. And then right before that, I talked to somebody else who lives here, which is why, you know, yeah. And then, yep. And then we got the, yep. And then, yep, all good, man, all good. Um, I need to see if there's anything behind me that I don't see. It's very important when <laughs> you show the face. Uh, so you may be wondering what's on the back here. So we've got Gatling Dragon, as far as the cards. This is a chessboard, obviously. Underneath is just like, I put food in storage bins because why not? It's kind of weird, but it's kind of a weird thing. I mean, not that there's any problems around here. It's just like, yeah, yeah, sure. So anyway, I stacked two of those. Two of the snack bands, I call them. Uh, yeah, this is just a regular old chessboard. See, these are the rooks. Pretty cool. Let me we try to display it with the light, like I'm like a like I'm a professional YouTuber. Oh, but this is the rook. I don't know if you can really. I'm sure you guys can see that with the camera. Close for you, close for you, far, far, far. Show the shining light. Flipped it, twisted a little. Yeah, and they got the little stamp on here. Which I'm pretty sure you guys can't see, but there's a little stamp right there. Anyway, Rook. Knight. Knight's always pretty easy to see. You know, it's a horse. So, Knight. Uh, yeah. Giltia, the D Knight. We got Giltia right here. The Knight. We got Jinzo, read by Giltia. Um, we got Toon Gemini Elf right here. Upside down. So, uh, right here. Next to Toon Gemini Elf is Toriental Tribute. So, this is the card of the day. Toriental Tribute. This is the flood card of the day. What's it do? Well, let's read. It's going to be take me about 20 minutes because I'm a Yu-Gi-Oh player. You can only activate this card when a monster is Normal Summoned, Flip Summoned, or Special Summoned. Destroy all monsters on the field. Yep. Oriental Tribute. Now, this is not a ultra rare, which means it's not out of Labyrinth of Nightmare. Hmm. And there's quite a variety of sets that this comes in at common. Let's check. Was it common or rare? Because it's not shiny either. It's not super rare. So I don't think this was in Dark Beginning 1. No, it couldn't have been because it was a super in that, right? Might have even been an ultra. What set do I think this card's from? See, this is a key question. This is uh, this is one of those memory tricks that may seem, you know, meaningless and harmless, but uh, actually a good memory trick for me personally to test, like, do I actually know what's... But yeah, Tori Intro Trivia, let's hold the card up. Let's, let's get some angles on it so you guys can see what I'm talking about. Again, and I know it's not shiny because I would have seen the foiling, so it's not super rare. It's not ultra rare. The good part is it's not shiny, so I can eliminate Labyrinth of Nightmare. Otherwise, I had to, con had to consider other details. And I just glanced at the card. I didn't even, I didn't even look at the serial number, which is right here. You guys can play along. 
serial numbers right there. It's just a fun little memory game. You guys in chat have already probably seen the answers. But if you have, hey, good news. I can't see chat tonight. So uh, anyway, but yeah, over here. Maybe it's start beginning two. Let me think. What sets the dark beginning one cover? LLB, Metal Raiders. But they didn't include every card, right? Dark beginning one did cover a whole slew of sets, though. You know, I think maybe this is Dark Beginning 2. And they printed it at Common? Maybe it's a base rare. Okay, so we have two. We have a double part question. Number one, is this a base rare or a Common? I'll let chat look. Because obviously I can't even see the reflection. So uh, I think it's a Common, which means... Okay, here's my guess. If it's a Common, it's like Legendary Collection Yugi's World. Yeah, a lot of old school reprints in there. Uh, also, it could be Legendary Collection Mako. Ooh. But I think it's a Super in there. I think it is. Yeah, because that's a signature Mako Tsunami card. So they printed it as a... No, wait. They reprinted it as an Ultra, didn't they? Yeah, and they didn't have alternate artwork. When are we going to get alternate artwork for Tori Angel Tribute? Man, it's such an iconic Yu-Gi-Oh card. What would the alternate artwork look like? And I'll Google some fan art after the stream. That's that would be interesting. What would a torrent torrential let's say the name? What would a torrential tribute um alt art, you know, official, official art alt art look like? See, this is a thought-provoking question. Because the original artwork, I mean, I can imagine it. There's all the splashes. It's like a you guys know a, a, a ripple, right? Like when you drop a... Yeah, it's kind of like a ripple, but pointing upwards. And it's just very simple. The design's very simple. It's basic. But you can tell there's, you know, blue. There's flood vibes in the card. From whenever you initially see the card, it's very clear, you know, water dangerous, water bad. And that's basically the whole point of the card, is that the sea, umi, the ocean, uh, is a powerful force. And if you step into it without... Being prepared, boom, everything will has a chance of being destroyed. Um back to the rarity. Let's let's stick with one question. I think it is dark beginning to what if it's a starter deck? I uh, see now we're now we're cooking with portals. What if it's starter deck four, Fury from the Deep? You know. That is one of the, I bought like, not one starter deck of that, not two, not three. I bought seven copies of that starter deck. The reason why, my ultra rares kept getting stolen from starter deck four, as well as, you know, some other. There was a bad time where cards just kept getting stolen. I wasn't sure who I could trust, which friends were friends, and which friends I could trust. Eventually, I did find out who the thief was, and oh boy. Talk about middle school drama. Mm -mm. Story for another day, chat. Story. We're vlogging. I know. And right now I'm kind of quizzing you guys. I'm trying a new format here. Right now I'm kind of quizzing you guys. Um, you guys can give me hints in chat. And this, then really this quiz format is to test three things. Number one, how long is my boot up time for my laptop? Number two, how interactive is chat? Because that those are two very important. When you're streaming, streaming, live streaming, which, hi guys, Blood Mine 14 here. And today, we're doing a test on what card, I know the name of the card, and I know the effects. What card, this card has been reprinted how many times, Jones? How many times, how many times has this card been printed? This card's been reprinted 14 times. Maybe even more. At least 14 in like starter decks, uh, structure decks. It is also been called the Atlantean. What if it's a Call of the Atlantean? See, I hadn't considered that. So I started thinking about the starter deck. And it is a common. Um, yep. This card's been reprinted at least 14 times. Probably more, but yeah. Um, this is a thought provoking question now where. Yeah, so the question of like which set this is from, I mean for me mentally, I'm literally just trying to access my own data database and literally remember that I know the one, the one in the blue sleeve 
is from a set that I literally remember. One is, the one in the black sleeve is the ultra rare. Yeah, that's my favorite. That's my first edition of Labyrinth of Nightmare. It's in that binder. So I know it's not that one. Plus, I, I, I briefly glance at the card. So I know it's not a super or an ultra. Or a secret. So, this is tough, guys. This is tough. But I'm going to have to lock in. As soon as we actually boot up the game, click a ally of justice move, then I'm going to lock in my answer. But I'm just thinking. I'm just thinking. Okay, not only Call of the Atlanteans, what's the history for him? And, um, there have been tons of water structure decks over the years, if you really think about it. How many over the entire years from, you know, 2000, 1999 until 2023, how many water, just, just plain, you know, water, generic, you know, how many water structure, how many blood structure decks have there been? That would make a great YouTube video by Blood in Mod 14. How many water based structure decks? Wasn't there an Aqua X? Yeah. Was there a Banna Fish one? No, but there was a structure deck or a starter deck that included uh, Leviathan. You know, the number monster, the next Deeds monster in Leviathan, and everybody wanted it because Leviathan was really highly played at the time. And it wasn't like water based, but it was, you could get Leviathan easily, you know, for 10 bucks. As well as, you know, you have another good promo with it. Anyway, um, for the trick, yeah, you guys in chat, you guys already know the answer. I've shown the angle several times. Um, but, uh, I think the festival's over, yeah. Uh, is the festival over? Uh, let's see here. Okay, I see the additional missions, but, uh... I think the festival's over, guys. If the festival's over, I'm probably going to stream something else tonight. After I do the daily. I've already got this video done. So I to do it. So, uh, I think I'd be interested in the idea of the stream tonight. If, uh, if it's over. Walk that in. One day left. Okay. Okay, guys, we got one day. Wait, what's the version? starter deck for yeah uh, fury from the deep yeah it just seems and i bought so many copies of that uh, starter deck you know the one with the uh, neo la baya dragon dale dedos <laughs> the one with the misprint i like uh eight copies of the misprint one and only one of the true print so <laughs> it 
That's so funny though. Everyone thought with the fist print, you could literally just two trick you and then pretty funny. I mean it's still good, but uh <laughs> it's a lot better when you can both special summon it and just summon it, you know. So, yeah, um we also have this to go for. Wait, I have this many metals already. Oh wow. Um oh I have two in our Maybe I should switch to the white group. Nah, let's do an ally of this. Let's do it. Let's do it, guys. This is an ally of this. We are going to skip at least one an ally of this. This is starting to be today. Wish me the best of uh, part of the cards. And uh, yeah. Also, I just realized my mouse isn't working, so I can switch this USB slots. And yeah. What's the other one I have? Because that other one is obviously. Yeah, that's the plan for this stream. Um, I didn't even know if the event was still going on, uh, but the plan is. Oh, I need to check on my soda. I need to check on my soda. So I'll be right back. One last look at the Torrential tribute, guys. What do you think? Your guess is in the hand in the YouTube comments right now. Do you think it's Star Trek 4 if you're going to be? Do you think it's Call of the Atlanteans? Do you think it's Nicholas Tsunami reprint? Do you think it's a set I haven't even named? Highly possible, or if he is the original collaborator of Nightmare, the European and yeah, all right, or in chat, and I will be right back. I'm gonna get the soda, make sure we're streaming audio, and etc.
got reruns of uh, Death Note playing on Pluto uh, TV, actually, which, you know, hashtag not sponsored. I've hey, been watching them all day, man. I love it. Pluto's free, man. So, it's awesome. This is episode 30, where um, Light meets Kiyoma, Kiyomi Takada at NHN and gets challenged by Nier for the first time for the Battle of Wits. Yeah, and Light was talking about how Nier, Nier reminds him how the same energy. Yes, from 
Thanks for all the votes. I will read the six. Aha! It was indeed Fury from the Deep. I felt like it was. Yeah, I was just like, I bought so many. Like, yeah. That's where that one's from. So. Oh, well, we got the field spill. We lose. So. Yeah, sorry guys, but yeah, that's me. Yeah, that's me. In the main phase. No. I guess I'll try to do this. Let's see, battle step. Yeah. Sure. Take a look at their, uh, you know, deck before we uh, check out my starting game here. Starting time. Ooh, good combo. Scapegoat and magical stone. Nice. Anyway, let's head back to the dailies. But sure, might have got the win of the dailies. So. Alright guys, so with that, we have won at least one duel tonight with my ally of Justice deck. Uh, yeah, I will switch to the light deck to just, you know, light Yagami in order to try to get that. Because uh, this event might be over in like 10 minutes, so let's go to duel. Let's go here, switch to the light, the light Yagami. And I don't even know what deck I have for light, but we're going to pick it. And we're going to go in. Probably just counter fairies. I don't even know if I have Viva in this day. Oh, nice. And this is the, uh, we all know this episode. This is the Misa Amane versus, uh, uh, Hakata. Uh, episode. So, pretty interesting episode. I never really liked it. Full combo, baby. Alright, let's do it. Caps and Naga. いいね。いいね。いいね。いいね。いいね。いいね。いいね。いいね。いいね。いいね。いいね。いいね。いいね。いいね。いいね。いいね。いいね。いいね。いいね。いいね。いいね。いいね。いいね。いいね。いいね。
زنگ باز Oh, 
Not bad. Not bad at all, bro. Not bad. Honestly, didn't think a dark magician player clear my board that easily, but hey, that was pretty good. They did that with people, so like they gave them the circles, they just made them get the top to scan through their turn, so. Alright, looks like we lost this one. It's all good though. We're only here for the medal, to try to get that uh, light win reward, so. <laughs> what? You could have just OTK, excuse me. Uh, oh right, they only have Magician Tool in the grave. Okay, maybe they couldn't have OTK still. That's, uh, wow. They pulled out Magical Eyes and that is, uh... Oh, you know what? This is a quick play spell? No, I can use it. Instead of that, they could, they could have a little bit of the ice. That's not crazy. Wow. Yeah, get Dark Material. So, any spell or trap I play helps them, so... That was crazy. Wow, Captain Naga. Nice going, man. That's gonna be the end of the match. Back to the counter. There's a couple things I could have done differently. Because with my car family, I can search for quite a bit of stuff. If I got like Fallen Sanctuary, I don't think that would have helped. Wow, there's the key soul. Maybe I. No, 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 because I linked away this and Venus for Harold. Right, yeah, 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 for Harold. And Harold basically, I mean, let's just put it this way. Harold, they probably would have made it. Yeah. Yeah. So Harold did help the. I'll set that a little. Not too did. And Magician Soul doesn't get on the graveyard for all the things we're just getting. I think, I think we had lost this one either way. I mean, quite frankly, they didn't even like search for this and fraud in the circle. They just flat out had it. They had it for a turn, so. Maybe I should have I could have done all that and not been held on to Master Hyperion in my hand. Looks like maybe, uh. Um, but then I would have taken. No, seriously, that was... I'm legitimately impressed. That was, uh... I do think I messed up a combo, though. Uh, I probably shouldn't have summoned Master Hyperion there. Nah, I don't know. It's whatever. It's Dark Magician. You don't really analyze it. Anyway, daily done. Nice. Uh, so we only need to destroy one card, normal summon one. Looking good. We're gonna knock these babies out. Uh, by the way, I still, uh, I'm still waiting on you guys to, I'm gonna wait like a month and a half to collect all the votes. Cause you know, uh, yeah, I proposed that offer for the starter deck. Uh, this was like two streams ago. But yeah, if you're new to this stream, um, I am gonna buy with all these gems we've got from the festival. I'm gonna buy a new structure deck. So yeah, um, yeah, I can buy one more Black Wings Pride so we can round out Black Wings. You guys wanna see more props than that? I can also just try some new structure decks like Spiral Spear Strike, uh, 
uh, Burning Spirits, Spell Book of Prophecy. If you really want to troll, troll the vote in chat and on my YouTube comment section, vote for Pendulum. Because I've, I've never, I've never played a Pendulum deck in my life, so that would actually be interesting content. So if you want to troll, vote for Magician of Pendulum because I would literally make so many. Oh, I can't read it because I've literally never read a Pendulum card, and I've never Pendulum summoned. So um, this will probably be what a lot of people vote for. Um, now this deck, this deck is actually pretty good. Rage of Psyche. Honestly, pretty good uh, in the event. Um, now, Immortal Glory and Cybernetic Successor are maxed out, so you can't vote for those. Uh, but yeah, feel free to vote for any structure deck you see on screen. And uh, yeah, we are going to be spending 500 gems on one of these. I'm just going to wait a, like a month or so because my YouTube comment section is eh, it's it's kind of hit and miss. Some months it's interactive, some months it's not. Some days it's interactive. Some hours it's like really interactive and I'm like, whoa, where did that come from? And then some hours it's not. Note to self, post a short regarding the vote as well, because I think the short might get like a lot more votes than yes. So I'll once once that stream once I post that stream on YouTube where I came up with this idea. Like at one point we had over 700 views, so that's why I came up with the idea. Um, but yeah, yeah. Once I posted that screen, then make it short the same day. Okay, maybe I should just make it short now. That way, because the longer the boats get in, yeah. and basically, I could end the poll right around September 30th. But what's today? The 29th? Yeah, that's like a month. That's that's long enough, you know, for a boat. So, all right. Anyway, guys. Back to the duels. Oh, back to reality. Oh, there goes gravity. And I will play this deck here. Uh, by the way, if you are coming in the chat and I haven't responded to you, like, hi. Um, I was going to say, let me know if I haven't responded to you. But if I can't see chat, then I can't see chat. And that means that I... See, that's a problem. Closing the game's a problem. You guys saw the start of stream. It took me forever to boot up again. So, if I can't see your comment in chat, I deeply and humbly apologize for being a bad streamer. That's it. We're going to move on. Orc is hard for. Okie dokie. I will. Wow, horrors that one pass? Not the worst corpus combo of all time. Not the best either. Anyway. Anyway. Uh-oh, connection failure. I see the X on my screen. Oh man, are we gonna have our first connection failure? We actually haven't had one. All the streams I've done, all the ooh. That is a sick rip. Um, go left. <laughs> Alright, I just hard eight in a life neptune. If I didn't do that, well then, I can special summon the card. Now I'll take life nine. This should be an OTK. Unless they have them. Or that's mirror force. Because I'm not going to play around that. Play on that. Okay. Alright. And pay hey. Yeah, this is an OTK. We went second, right? Yes, we did. Wow. Um, I will play Sanctum of Parsha here. Okay. Well, this doesn't close. No, it does not. Wow. Uh, what if that's orchestrated release? Good point, Josh. Maybe I'll talk about that. So, if you don't know, Orcus have a stock type of which automatically negates and pops something. Um, I could pop it right now with this Shine Ball. Uh, yeah, let's add Earth. Wait, I have a normal summon, right? Oh my god, you guys. This is easy. It's 
like the easiest OG can ever send. Okay, yeah, tribute that. Uh. Yeah, I did miss combo slightly. Um, yeah, see, I shouldn't have played Sanctum because it does put you their back row as well as mine. So, it's gonna cost us some damage too because I misplayed Sanctum. But, it's fine. Yeah. And now all I need to do is pop Sanctum itself and then play this and pop the back row. Well, let's do it. Let's do it, baby. Well, uh, Sanctum. By Sanctum. It's gonna roll our damage a bit. It's gonna look a little strange, but trust me, I know what I'm doing next. Thanks, Rory. Nope. And now we have another pop right there we are. There we go. And we'll banish a ball. Let's go. Bowling! Pop. What was it for? Bluff. Bluff City. Alright, that is an LTK, and I will get more. This. I just need the extra damage. I did cuddle, I stole. Uh, yeah, thank you for the medals. Um, ooh, I know the kanji for that one. Uh, they were playing the starter deck. Uh, but this is the kanji for Yoin, right? Yeah, I might have that wrong. Anyways, uh, let's check our dates. So we're going for that one might be too large. Yeah, we're going for this, so apparently it's going to take a while. I may want to do this off screen, actually. Ooh, yeah, that's a lot of YSP. Uh, I don't know about that. Oh, no, we have no time to do that tonight. Uh, everything looks good on my phone. Still sounds good, right? Okay. Hey, as long as I can hear audio. Alright. Start about the close up, though. Um, um, hmm. My deck doesn't exceed summon a lot or ritual. Let's knock out this baby actually. Because, yeah, this is four days left. Yeah. Um, before we do though, I'm going to buy some packs. Okay, there is only one day left, um, and there are some sword soul cards I want. So let's just buy one sword soul pack. And then we'll buy two of them pack. Okay. Nice. Weird. Ooh, it's in the pack, good. Um Magical Meltdown, wow. Um, let's buy, 
Race of Chaos? I don't know. Buy one of the new pack. With the Cash Tira fan rear. Okay. Chinese. Chaos Sorcerer. Ooh, Draco bag. Let's see if that should be bait or not. Some of these one at a time, last pack. Right. Is it in the pack or is it your bait? Ooh. Been looking for this one. Very nice. So guys, uh, sorry about the short, you know, uh, vlog and intro stream.
I'm gonna drink a little Dr. Pepper strawberries and cream here though. So, yeah. All right, Dr. Pepper, right now, do do do, over me. Mmm. Pretty good. Mm. Mm -hmm. mm. So we got two options as far as fixing this. Number one, I could just end stream and go from there. Number two, so some of you guys, well, let me let my computer catch up. Yeah, let me be nice to my computer here and let it catch up to the fact that it closed out that high-powered game. Ooh, this thing's on fire. Ooh, I can feel it. Well, let's give it a little air break, the laptop. Yeah, I'm lifting it up from underneath. So if you guys see the, the angle drastically change, that's why. You gotta be nice to your technology, man. Uh, Alright, now I'll go here to the Twitch studio. Um, one thing I was thinking, excuse me, I could do is actually kind of interesting. So, of course, I could play Final Fantasy VIII over here. There's a couple things we need to do in that game, actually. And, uh, oh, hi, fine mama of three. I see you in chat now. Well, of course, you can see everything from here. Uh, but I need to probably change this where it says entire screen. I probably need to change that to where it says master duel. But we're going to leave it the way it is. <clears throat> because the one thing I can do that I thought about doing. If I change this to chatting, I think this will work. So we'll change the chatting. Yep, yeah, and it does show, okay. All right guys, so here's what we're gonna do for tonight. Since I can't see chat the way I normally do, we're going to have a special little stream tonight, actually, that's not Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duel. Uh, also, sorry about my hair. It's just, yeah, I did go somewhere today and kind of mess around. Um, let's get Dr. Pepper. So, let me get something set up on my TV right over here. I'll be right back. We're going to, basically, all I'm going to do is point you guys right at my TV. We're going to play a game over there, so... I've got old school stuff. I got PS2. I got Xbox 360. I got some stuff. But uh, let's do it. All right. All right. This should be interesting. Should be interesting. And I already know what game I'm thinking of too. <laughs> I you guys are gonna love it. You guys are gonna love it. <laughs> let's do it. Let's do it, let's do it again. Let's do it, let's do it. Let's do it. Um. Let's grab the back end. Back up front. I moved my glasses in case over here. Yes. Glasses case, back up that one. Uh, uh, uh. What's a uh, oh, okay. oh, Ariane's here, guys. You can say hi to chat, Ariane, if you want. Okay, and without further ado, 
Let me move you guys slightly up all the way around. Watch the cords, Jeff. All right, let me unplug all these cords, actually. Unplug, unplug, unplug. I'm going to move you guys whoop, right around here to the TV. And we're going to play a little different game. All right, let's see where the TV is going. Uh -huh. Yep, we're going to play a slightly different kind of game. Sorry, what? You want to get the captions back on? Let me get back Captions off of your phone. Off the Twitch app. Oh, I didn't miss. Yeah. I did. I apologize. <laughs> well, anyway, guys, That's we're gonna game. play this. I'm gonna plug up my. I'll hop over with the captions tomorrow if I have to. But we're going to play created by Konami. Yes. Konami. We make pachinko machines. Alright, guys. A card, a card. My key number. Pretty cool. Pretty cool game. Alright, and I'm going to do just a little checking. We're going to start the game from the beginning. But before that, I need to see something real quick here. I need to make sure I'm not deleting the file. I've been doing a ranking challenge on my uh, YouTube channel, which you should go subscribe to. Shameless plug over. But I have been doing a <laughs> yeah, I've been doing a YouTube series called the Yu Gi Oh Duels of the Roses Ranking Challenge, and I need to make sure I don't delete that file. Um, so we're at Colonel. Okay, how many wins and losses? That's key here. Okay, how many wins and losses we got, Jones? And I can still see Chad here too. Yep, I sure can. Sweet. Okay, and I'm pretty sure the screen's not like centered, but it's cool. I don't really even. My uh, 121 and 3. 121 and 3. I can remember that. 121 and 3. This is one of these is my backup save files, and one's a backup, one's a real. So I will wait like 30 seconds. Let the game file kind of do what it does. I think I can reach over here. Yeah, basically I'm gonna pull my chair up over here, and I think I can reach with the controller. So also I can move the lights so you guys can see. Yeah, how's that? Just check the lighting. Let's see here. And I already plugged my charger into my laptop. Ooh, ooh yeah, that looks a lot looks better. In fact, I can try to fix the angle. Yeah. Okay, 
Sorry, guys. I'm streaming this from my laptop in case anyone's... Yeah, and if the video's grainy or anything. I don't know. I'm going to have to check the VOD. But if the video's grainy or, you know, off balance or what... This is clearly an old school PS2 Slim. So, you know, that's... That's what's going on here. But you outdated technology. We love it. Okay. Alright. And obviously, this is my first time trying this on stream. So, yeah. Bear with me here. Right. There we go. Okay, got the charger plug back in. There we go. You might have heard a little beep. So now we work on the angle. Beautiful. That's that's like as good as it's gonna get. You can see everything on the TV. And let's get up the table a bit. But honestly, bro, honestly. That's pretty good as far as the angle goes. It doesn't look too bad. A little further up. Beautiful. That's yeah, the laptop's literally sitting right here, so Okay, here we go guys. Let's did I switch the memory cards? I don't think I did. So But now I'm confused. So I'm gonna switch the memory cards twice just to make sure I'm not flubbing this up. So we'll go here. Here. 121 to 3, right? Hopefully they got different wins and losses. Because that'll help us start a new game right away. But long story short, this stream, we're going to start try to spin a little bit. We're going to start a new save file from the beginning. Oh, good. 129 and 3. Okay. So this is clearly the most recent episode of Duels of the Roses. So yeah, all I have to do now is take out the first memory card and switch the cards and we can start a new game on the backup file. The backup. Because yeah, usually I create a backup file for every let's play. Just in case there's like audio or random issues, you know. Yeah. So I'll take this out. Okay, this is the backup file. Put that right there. And yeah, I can put this over in my last space. So that's great. Alright. Alright, and let's just double check my homework before I restart. Let's make sure this has 121. 121 and 3. And then we're free to start a new game, guys. Alright. I could scoot my chair over. Okay. Alright. The only thing I'm not sure about on this angle is if you guys can hear me, but you know what? The truth is, you don't need to hear me. All you need to do is see the gameplay, which, you know. That's why we're here. And also, I can check on chat every once in a while. Just kind of lean over. Yeah. This works, honestly. This really works. And I mean, I guess I can maximize this. That's an option. Yeah, let's maximize this. And yeah. Alright, guys. New game. Full hits. Do it. Alright. Yeah, and I can still see, yeah, looks good, looks good. All right, chat, let's do this. All right. The British Empire in the 1480s by Dragon Ball Z. All right. Okay, let's see what we got here. Okay, let's drink some water for epic blisses. All right. Here we go, guys. Let's do it. The War of the Roses, a pouch between the houses of Lancaster Rivers and York Whitehurst, decided to decide a royal successor was near the end. With the Yorkists building the lead, the Great Richard III was but a step away from glory. And in France, Yuki Henry II, the last of the was being forced to the front of exile. Oh no. Will he be able to obtain the throne? Find out today on Dragon Ball Z. No attachment forces or really powerless by AT cards and sorcery. Built by Seto and his seven followers, known as the Z Fighters. 
and also known as the Rose Crusaders. And they served them with lead or cross York is no Lacking a duelist that champion in their cause, defeat was imminent for the white casualties. But then, they found Gandalf for a wish on the dragon bars, and an eagle. Dual card game for self fledgling stays. What? Wait, 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 wait. Fledgling? I, I see you, England, trying to pull out those big words, confused. Mm-hmm. Anyway. Thus, the Lancashians had to look elsewhere for a duel master capable of facing the Rosen Cruz in battle. The Rosen Cruz is Kaiba, Lancastrians, Yu Yu. We got it. With this in mind, our great high beauty of Lancaster is equally requesting a high dream to summon a duelist from another age. <gasps> Who could that be? Whalers. Us. <laughs> Alright. Answer of the duel field. Ow, on Dragon Balls. Hey, it's Simon! Yeah, guys, uh, if you've been following my YouTube channel, you recognize Simon from the memories that were forbidden. Uh, yeah, last we saw, he was saying goodbye in the Millennium Puzzle. But this is what time period he got sent to after that. Glad to see you're still doing all right, Simon. Oh! Simon McBoobran! Yeah, we recognize this guy. Summoned from the mystic circle of red and white roses, the one capable of harnessing your power. There was truth to the legend of the Rose Duelist. Lady Margaret, I, I did it. Now we have the means for defeating the evil forces of Rosen Cruz. And he is evil. Ahem, oh, oh. My apologies. In my excitement, I forgot that I was in the presence of the Rose Duelist. Hello. All right. <laughs> we got some emojis from <laughs> my father. Hey, I appreciate you watching. Uh, allow me to reintroduce myself. Allow me to reintroduce myself. My name is O. Oh, okay. I am Simon McMurray, High Druid and Servant of Lancaster. Ah, may I be so bold as to ask the name by which the Rose Duelist would like to be known? Now, Konami was pretty darn clever here, so this name. You know, this random name that doesn't matter yet actually matters quite a bit and determines your starting deck, your leader, uh, etc. Um, now, there is one deck leader I'd love to try, and I know if I put in this name, this leader will appear. So, I'm actually going to put my name as, well, yes, I'm going to do it. I'm going to put my name as this, S. I guess I can turn the sound back on. <laughs> Uh, how do you spell it? Uh, oh, I spelled it wrong already. <laughs> uh, yes, if you put your name as Cyter, you will get some unique decks. Ah, Cyter! A fine name indeed. Now, here's the situation. Hmm. Alright, this seems pretty important. So, yeah, the year's 1485. You're in Stonehenge near Salisbury. Hmm, Salisbury. Oh, what the sake, baby. Alright, banquet meal. Sign me up. Uh, sponsorship? Hey, Tim, we got a. Let's do, put in a banquet for a sponsorship meal. Okay, anyway, thanks, Tim. Uh, the British Empire is in turmoil. The House of Lancaster's rightful claim to the throne. Being challenged by the Eupokus usurpers. That's a fancy word. I like that word. Usurpers. Ah, the power struggle is referred to as the Wars of the Roses, a name based on the badges used by both sides. A red rose for the Lancastrian and a white rose for the Yorkus. Yeah, and don't combine those two because we all know that would result in pink energy. And just like our Lord Jordan told us in Power Rangers, too much pink energy is a bad thing. Yeah, you can actually overload and uh, lose your powers as a Power Ranger. So, yeah, let's see how that do that. Ah, right now, I can be distracted by the Yorkus and the rightful claim to the throne. 
Now, you know, it is pretty, this is kind of an interesting story point. Wrongful? Bro, you summoned me here by myself without my knowledge. I was asleep. You know, I was having a good sleep, a good dream about being the greatest card game master of all time. And uh, can I really even trust this guy? You guys feel me? He summoned me without my permission while I was asleep. You know, wrongful. That's a pretty, uh, I'm going to keep my eye on you, Simon. You're being quite sensitive. Damn. Really not right. All oh, because the York is to the support of the Rose Crusaders and the Sorceress White Rose Cards. Using all red rose cards, we summoned you, the player. Saita, to this day and age, we hope that your dueling experience would defeat the Rose Crusaders. So clearly we have some kind of, you know, previous dueling experience that they wish to call upon. Simon respects me is what I'm hearing. Right. And lead us to victory. You would help us. Ah, well, of course you will. Foolish of to even doubt where your loyalties lie. And see, it's statements like that, Simon, that it make me think this guy. Seven us without our permission. Could it be? Have the death out. I wonder. Who the has it that only the legendary Rose do the stance a chance against the power of the Risen Cruise? We appreciate any help you can provide against them. Why the gates? I should warn you. Yeah, so he's gonna warn me about the rules of this game, the perfect rule. Yeah, I mean, I'm gonna explain all this, but like, yeah, just just press A, you know, really. Oh, and don't play the practice rule, that's boring. Yeah. Uh, yeah, no, bro, we're going to not do that, so... Ah, that's right, sir. You must select the deck to rule with. Now, this is important. It is important that you feel the vibrations of a deck leader. The minute. Is that... Wait, wait. Is that minute or minute? It is minute. Ah, clever wordplay, you know, because most people see that as minute. The minute resonations that ring true to your soul. Oh, oh I predict you that. Not. The cards themselves draw power from the energies of the ancient ones. And, you know, this is all you yell for, you know. Every every person has a, you know, destined card spirit, and yada yada yada. It should be connected, you know, dual energy. This is all covered in yu gi oh GX, so... Ah, the deck leader acts as an intermediate between the ancient ones and the deck wielder. Saita, it is essential that you select a card leader whose rhythm matches the stirrings of your circle. Ah, here are several decks. Give some serious thought and choose carefully. Ah, so these are the decks we have. Now, just so you guys know, I made that YouTube video as far as, you know, the reptile deck and while it, why it sucks. But we're not picking that one. Um, I also made several uh, videos about these two, Thunder Nyan Nyan and Luminous Soldier. Um, now... The one thing, you, a couple things you want to look at, uh, you can look at like your attributes over here and your types. Um, but ultimately, I think I'm going to go with this one, Thunder Nyan Nyan. Let's do it. Start. All right. Ah, I see you've selected your dick. Hmm. So that's the effect of the Celtic Red Rose cards. Time to grab a drink, guys. A lot of, lot of dialogue here. Let's do it. All right. Ah, looks like there's some truth to the rumor that the Red Rose cards are capable of time transformation. Who's there? Ah. <laughs> it's been some time since we played Do you have a blue eyes I can bring in half? I'm feeling angry. Hi, Bob. I mean, Rosen Cruz. What brings you here, Center? Yeah. Only a member. The Rose Crusaders, they call me by that name, old man. Now, uh, let me address the Rose Dukas. Yes, only call me Santa. Now, Rose Dukas. Face me. Face my blue eyes. White armor dragon. Isn't it cool? Don't you want to join my side? Or does memory fail you? And you, you must be the dreaded Rose Dukas. <laughs> I must admit, there's a certain aura of the hour emanating from you, but you know what? Through your aura, I am. 
Alright, I believe in introduction is in order. I am Monday. I need Seto, the leader of the Rose Crusaders. There are members of our little group that prefer to call me by the name of C. Rosenbridge, and I uh, always forget what the C stands for. Um, is it, uh, you see, I always think Charles because of King Charles, but no, it stands for like, I don't know. You guys in chat know. And in the comments, or you're going to tell me again, no, no, it's actually Captain Rosencruz or whatever. Ah, I ask you again, what brings you to us, I know. Ah, mind your manners, old man. Then for where I live, who was, and send you to the hospital. That's right, ripping a card in half will send you to the hospital. Don't leave me. You won't like me. What else would have bring me here? I come from the Red Bros cards. After all, it was you who showed me how the summoning capabilities are. When the Red Bros cards are combined with the transport powers of the White Red Bros cards, you are going to make peak energy. Lord Zar, Lord Zar, Lord Zordon warned us of this. Too much pink energy would be a bad thing. Guys, I'm worried. Ah, you are thinking of attempting the forbidden rose summoning, are you? If so, then the red rose cards must never fall into your tainted, evil, grimy, money grubbing, soiled hands, you present. Ah, courts of cards of street. Oh man, Simon went off there. Taps into the powers of the ancient ones. Uh, it's double edged nature, blah 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 blah, dangerous cards. It's a double edged sword that can cut. Both ways. The rose cards alone upon his tremendous power. There's no telling what powers one might unleash to the world by both combining both red and white. Yeah, then we might have to make a white Power Ranger and instead of a green one. And that's. Hmm. Uh, yeah. We would lose the Dragon Flute, and that's, you know, that really a good thing. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> okay, we're good. Sorry, I was checking chat there. I will sacrifice my own life, if need be, to prevent anyone from uttering the spell of doom. Uh, spell of doom. <laughs> That's just an ancient legend. I don't believe in that hocus pocus my trick. Now, the 16 red and white rose can grant power overall. She would list the loot legend as twisted the true meaning. And like I said, I don't believe in that hocus pocus in my mind, mobile mobo jumbo machine. Mm -hmm. Now hand over all of us. We rose crusaders have sworn to create a utopia free from the rangers. We intend to accomplish this with the power of the cards. Uh, and we shall do so by extending the rule of Richard the Third throughout the known world. And I shall fly out victorious on my blue eyes white dragon. <laughs> 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 <I took> the... <laughs> Are you quite dumb? Yes. Now, by the way, it is quite clever of you to form a circle of red roses within the white rose barrier to some of the rose doors. Wait, what? Uh, what did Simon do? I don't know what Kaiba just said, but okay. Uh, but you're a foolish Camilla. This area is surrounded if you wish to live with your life. You will only do so by handing over all the Red Rose cards. And you will. I like that. Me? A fool? Ha! Then what about you? Are you a fool to actually believe the Red Rose cards would remain here at my discussion? Right after the summoning, I have the cards dispersed among our best rulers to keep them from your tainted, grubby, honey grabbing, ah, disgusting hats, you bastard. Ah, then you leave me with one option. Ah, the great money. Freaking Kaiba with my awesome armor shall enlay the endless the aid of your precious rose to <laughs> what do you think of that? You take leave of your senses, you fool. And you speak too soon, old man. Heed my words to this. If you wish to return to the proper time period, you, you will require 16 cards of the red Oh, so see, I was talking about getting us home. Um, you know, I was having a good dream before I even woke up. Kaiba, I like what you're saying. He's talking about sending us home. 
All right. The red and white position. Oh, in the reverse of the summon. You see, this makes sense. Yes, this makes sense. Ah, you know the sped is. Ah, since you need the 16 gross cards as much as we do, I propose a partnership. Here we go. This is the part of the game. Basically, you're going to choose a side. White rose or red rose. Couple of together cards, and I should be able to your turn. Yes. See, so Kaiba's guaranteeing our return. Simon's just kind of like, oh, you know, we're the good side. Uh, that side's bad. It's very vague. We, Simon. Simon, buddy, I love you and forbidden memories, but let's be quite frank. This is a brand new game, and I've never even met you, and you're asking me for my help, and you woke me up without my permission. I was in the middle of a good dream, etc. Yeah, and you haven't pro Simon, you haven't promised to return me home. So, you know, Kaiba speaking my language a little more. Ah, it is an absurd proposal. You think that the Honorable Saita would even live here? For your ridiculous proposal, you grimy, dirty, money grubbing, selfish, arrogant prick. Ha! Ah, can you be so sure? You know, Kaiba really likes saying old man. I didn't really realize it till this game, but uh, he said old man five times in the last 20 seconds. Let me see. Simon Side has eight. We have eight cards. So, the numbers are even. You can side with either of us. But I'm sure you'll take into account who's winning this round, after all. Oh man, it kind of makes a good point here. Who was desperate enough to summon you in the first place? <laughs> I think it's quite clear. Which side's better position to send you home? And well, you know, Kaiba, I do want to go home. I mean, yeah, I'm here without my permission or without even being kindly asked. You know, Simon, if you had just kindly asked before you transported me, I wouldn't have this attitude, but, you know. That's a sight this, 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 this power-hungry, money-loving lunatic. Uh, I mean, can we really trust what Simon's saying? I mean, I don't even know you, bro. Ah, Simon, must you resort to me? I am rich. I mean her. I mean I have money. I mean, screw the rules I have armor. I'll tell you what. Why don't we leave the decision to our dear business? After all, Simon, the two of future is not for us to decide now. Is it? Well, yes, but, uh... Split in keeping with the traditions, I offer you a choice to us. Stand by my money, or stand by my blue eyes armor, or look lame and stand with Simon, which will you choose? Here are the two rooms. The white represents me, and the red room is Simon. Well, for the sake of justice, choose the red rose. <laughs> Stand by my side and look cool. Choose the white rose. Okay, and yeah. Game offers just a choice. Obviously, you know, Kaiba's the only one promising to send us home, so we're going to side with Kaiba, the white rose side. So here we go. Ah, a wise choice, please. I see your will first in judging the situation. <laughs> side. Thanks for making it a sub, but now, I have to do this. Goodbye, son. It's time you made yourself scarce. Whoop, whoop, what are you doing? Stole it, set out, you! And I think we can safely conclude that Simon's dead. For real this time. Rip. Don't uh, worry. I'm not going to hurt you. Oh, that's nice of Seto. See, he's smart. He's, playing, he's giving Simon a fighting chance. I just moved you out of the way until everything's settled. <laughs> now, let's talk about the Red Rose. Simon mentioned that he's bred the cards among certain individuals just after some of I think it's safe to assume that a large number of those individuals are his confederates, currently living friends. I'd like to ask you to enter friends from Dover and retrieve the cards for our cause. And, of course, in order to send you home. Thanks, Kaiba. I would go myself. However, I needed here to maintain our barrier against evading forces. And this, this reasoning does make sense. 
Haiba, you know, in any war would be the strongest, you know, duelist on their side. So, you know, him needing to stay there in Stonehenge makes a lot of sense. And by here, I'm assuming he means at Stonehenge, because that looks like Stonehenge. But, yeah, I mean, who else would be stronger duelist than Kaiba? Like, I don't know. Darts? I don't know. According to the legend, one must use a deck called Susan lower than an opponent. Yeah, that is pretty important, but you can't even duel an opponent. Like, don't worry about what he's saying about the cost, because you can't even click on a button to duel an opponent if your deck cost is higher. Like, the game will warn you, so don't worry about what he's saying about that. I've also heard somewhere that the Celts inherited their Red Rose cards from the original inhabitants of Stonehenge. Oh, that's... What? Really? That interesting lore. Okay. That would mean that our enemy, Yugi Henry II, comes from a line of Welsh nobility that would have likely inherited one of the rose cards. In other words, what Kai was saying here is at some point, we're going to have to duel the Yugi into submission. Let's do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay, yeah. Bell retaliate. That makes sense. Do not underestimate me. Huh. I'm depending on you. Kaiba, Kaiba. Kaiba, look what Kaiba's saying. I'm depending on you? That Kaiba has never uttered those words ever in the anime or... Thank you, Kaiba. Thank you. You can trust me. I'll get the cards. He's never said that line to anyone. Alright. And here we go. All right, we're now free to move, so here we go. All right, guys, and I'm sure if you're watching this, you've played this game before, so I'm not really going to explain anything. Well, I will explain one thing, so let's take a look at our deck. So if we go to our deck, we we'll turn the volume down as a light. So, yeah, here's your trunk on the left side, and, uh, yeah, your deck is on the right side, so it's actually quite easy to, you know, mess with your cards. If you want to take a card out, this button, you know, if you want to put a card in, this button. You can also put in codes to get certain cards, but, you know, I'm not going to do that. We're just going to go right into the duels. Okay, if you guys wait long enough. Uh, this is also your deck leader. You can tell because it has the 2LT over there, um, and it has a star, so, yeah, all leaders have uh, dragon stars. There's like one star, two star, three star, and team four star. Okay, anyway. <laughs> Let's get into this. Pretty easy, yeah. We're just going to try this from the this side. I think for stream, I'll just clear out one side. And we'll call it we'll call it a stream, so. But yeah, pretty easy game. I've beaten this game several times. The Rouse Duelist, you, deter, you dare to betray the hopes of Prince Yugi. Friendship will rule. I'll teach you a friend. I'll give you a friendship speech so bad, you'll go deaf in one ear. All right, let's do it. Oh, I'll teach you a lesson you'll never forget. Friendship. Okay. Yeah, like we're going to lose to Taya Gardner. <laughs> no, but actually, guys, she can beat you in this game. If you just kind of back off and aren't aggressive. I've lost to Taya many, many times. And I'm not actually lying. That's... Yeah. Anyway, um, something you can consider doing in this game is, uh, yeah, as you see as I moved up, uh, if you press square, you can summon in different zones. Like, if I press uh, summon over here, just summon this card. Triangle lets you look at cards. Um, this is the map. So, yeah, it's at like an 8x8. Eight eight. It's kind of like a chessboard. This game is basically a fusion of chess and Yu-Gi-Oh. Uh, but you see I moved up in order to increase the summoning square. You're basically going to want to do that in every duel. And, like, something else you can do is you can try fusions, just like in Forbidden Memories. So, let's try a fusion of a plant and a random beast, like this card. Okay, let's do it, and let's see what happens. Fusion ha! And we get Flower Wolf, which we see a lot in Memories that were forbidden. And with that, let's hit the turn. Alright, so she's gonna play some cards. Power increase, that's not good, but whatever. Okie dokie. Alright. 
and I'm just going to move this forward. I'm going to move myself forward. I'm not scared. It's there, you know. Uh, let's try another fusion. So, yeah, let's try a fiend and a place. What's this effect? Ooh, that's interesting. We can actually see what this affects, what the last card she played was. You know what? I'm never going to use this effect again, so let's do it. I will flip up Monster Eye. Reveal your card. Um, this card sucks. I end my turn. Interesting. All right, and she's attacking us, so let's watch that. And every time we watch the battle, I'm gonna take a drink break. Star shower. Those stars look like the stars from Super Mario. Bankai. Simbon Zakada. Kageyoshi. You see, it's a good for the sign. By moving my hands, Simbon Zakada can move twice as fast, meaning he loses. Oh, yeah, remind me to save after this duel, guys. Alright. And Taya ends the turn. Okay. Anyway, with Monster Eye, this is a fiend. Ooh. Does this work on you? It does not. Anyway, this is a fiend. Yeah, this is a fiend. And as we've seen, fiend plus flower equals rosy and uh, uh, forbidden memories. So let's try it here. Fusion Hall! Yeah! Recognize this card. Yeah! So, yeah, a lot of the same fusions, uh, you know, something that'll help you a lot is a lot of the same fusions that work in Forbidden Memories. They work in this game, too, so, you know, just so you guys know. Alright. Why are you running away? Whoops. Scale Angel? Huh. Looks like you should have put that Scale Angel in the Pendulum Scale. Eh? Eh? Alright. Sacred Arrow! Aw, you made me fall in love. Your shoulders Boo. Oh man, she just shang sung that little creature. Look at that. Your soul is Fatality. <laughs> That's gonna be a nice plug for YouTube right there. Fatality. What in the Sam? Oh my god! What was that? All right, our turn. Okay, now as you guys know, in Forbidden Memories, if you tr fuse a thunder with a dragon, it'll make thunder dragon, and then another thunder will make twin headed thunder dragon. So it should work here, right? Well, let's just show you guys this, just so you won't make the same mistake. Watch. All right, so if you use this with this with this with this. And Thunder Dragon! Oh! Yeah, so if the fusion fails, it'll kick out, and then, yeah, so unfortunately that fusion, you know, doing the fusion that exact way won't work in this game, but we'll move over. By the way, the life points, I didn't point it out, but we've got 4,000, she's down to 1,600, so. And this is the turn count, don't worry about that, I mean. There are ways to win with the turn count, but we're not going to do it in this stream. All right. Running over her cards. That's got to be good for us, right? Oh my goodness, power increase. Yummy. Alrighty. Defense mode for the power. Wow. Anyway. Ooh, cards. Uh, let's just move over here. And let's move here. Let's summon this. Yeah. 
Seems pretty good. 17 here. Yeah, let's just summon this. Attack. Ah. Well done, Taya. Well done. So, there you go. Yeah, one flip face up. Shifts all parts of the defense. That's nice. Anyway. If you want, um, yeah, if you want to skip the, uh, the battles, and, you know, you don't want to show the animations every time, I'm going to show them because I like the animations, but you can go press, like, you know, mess with them in your options. With, with me, it's L1, and then you just put display or, you know, you can change the sound too, but, you know. Uh, anyway, so there you go. All right. Looks like we've won. She's just ending her turn. Push All right. Well, with that, we will simply flip this, flip this, uh, we'll flip this, and we'll attack her. So we win. GG. Firewolf, go. Von Kai. Ten bones up for a Kage ish. Yeah, pretty easy game. I mean, so, you know, easily done. You win. All right. All right, and if you win, you get what's called the graveyard slot machine. So basically, try to get three in a row, just like a regular slot machine. If you can't, I don't know, go for a card you want. All right, let's do it. Nice. Nice. Yeah, the card in the middle is the magic card that boosts all fairies. So you might want to go for it. It's called Wing. Puppeteer, yeah, not bad. Nice, all right. Yeah, three pretty good cards. And you can rotate those into your deck or whatever, not use them at all. It's up to you. All right, let's see what Taya has to say here. All right. Uh, I guess I lost. It pains me to know I lack the strength to protect my lord and love. Huh. Her new beer and love. Wow. I never saw this coming, said no one ever. Alright, chat looks good. Um, so, yeah, we're good. Let me just type this right here. Send a message. And we should still be good here. Uh, let's go to my deck here. Was that Tristan Taylor? If you lose the duel, you lose your soul. But why? Hey, Joey, get me some of those fish fried potatoes. I like monkeys. <laughs> All right. What in the name of continuity is going on? I threw that Millennium Frisbee into the, into the forest. So how did the killer get it back? My voice gives me super strength. Holy crap, it really does. Alright, I think I've used all the Tristan lines I can think of, so there we go. <laughs> Let's put this in. Alright. There we go. And let's put that in. There we go. Okay. <laughs> Alright. Yeah, sorry, someone was uh, typing something to me there. So, let's do that. And I'll put this message here. There we go. Alright. Let me check real quick. Okay, there we go, and we're good, I think. Okay, alrighty, guys. I'm gonna actually lift up my laptop. There's actually some cards that are right underneath here, and then I'll make sure the angle's good. 
Yeah, okay, okay, okay. Got all the cards. And you can still see. I think I can angle this a little bit more this way. But I'm not gonna mess with it too much, you know. Oh, I could also scoot the laptop forward. The yeah, oh, that looks a lot better. Holy smokes, I'm glad I thought of that. Duh, Josh, it's a tape. Duh, winning. Yeah, that looks. Dude, that looks really good. All right, let's keep it like that. All right, let's go. Um, I will change out three cards here. So let's change out. This card kind of sucks, to be honest. Let's change out this card. And, uh... We got any insects in here? Let's see. Any insects? Any insects? Yeah, let's get rid of this card. And let's get rid of... Ooh, King Bob is cool. Nice. Let's get... Ooh, we got the heroes. Nice, nice. Okay, okay. Let's get rid of Killer Beetle, I'm sure. Any other insects? Snow Ghost. Wow. Um, interesting, interesting, interesting. I'm just looking at the deck here. Oh, a Montagna, Tony Montagna. Nice. Alright. Hockey Beam is questionable, but okay. Ooh, that's pretty good. Alright, and. Okay. Alright. Alright. Here we go, guys. Next duel. Do 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 do. Anyway. This should be a fun VOD to look at. Because, like, a couple things with this uh, game. Number one, I'm not even sure you can hear me. Number two, yeah, especially after I did. Hold it! You're the one that called the Duelist, right? If you want to go any further, you'll have to face me. And my crab walker strategy. No, that's really true. I'll summon a crab, you'll get it later, and then we'll fry it and fillet it. I like crabs. Wait, what? No, not like that. But why? Anyway, here's uh, Tristan's field, and I like to call it the What the Flip Be Flam is this field. So, you basically have every type. You have normal, meadow, forest, sea, wasteland, and yabby terrain. Pretty cool. There are two terrains you don't have here, but uh, let's show you one of the cooler fusions of this deck. So, there we go. Blank plus zombie equals, yeah, pumpkin, the king of ghosts. Yeah, there you go. Probably my turn. Yeah, not bad, not bad, right? Alright. And now let's move pumpkin forward. Uh, you see he has the little T up right there? He has a T up. And how his stats raise? That means he has the terrain advantage up. So, there you go. Um, let's move. Let's end the turn. Let's end the turn. Let's end the turn. Fusion. Wow. Alright. Alrighty. Okay. Well, let's attack whatever this is. Um Yeah, Pumpkin also has the advantage on Yami, the so there you go. Over Saga, huh? It's, uh interesting, I suppose. Anyway, let's see here. How will Pumpkin attack? Let's watch. What in the Sam Hill was that? I'm king. It's more like pump. Right? Jeez. Uh, anyways, let's, uh, let's attack this guy. Let's move right here. Defense mode. Turn in the... Uh, 
Oh! Ha! You fell in for my trap. Because you see, my muscle. What in the world? I didn't even know Trisha could fuse for this card. Are you kidding me? Lajib. That is way too good of a card for Tristan Timothy Taylor. Alright, Pumpkin, attack again. I can't believe he. He actually. He pulled out this fusion on our first duel. I've never seen him fused for this card. Huh. Learn something every, every new every day about this game, right? Or about life in general, right? Oh, look at that future breath, and look at the frame. Oh my goodness. Epic, epic. I guess we try to win legit. If it's in the Does legit appear in the slots, the graveyard slots? I don't know now, but we gonna find out. We gonna find out, Chad. That is way too good of a card for Tristan, though. Are you kidding me? Look at his deck cost. 28, 1800 attack. Oh, um, this is Wasteland. Okay. Uh, how am I gonna kill this card, though? That's the problem. Um, I haven't thought you were going Um... Wait, will this fuse? I know it does it for good memories. Will this work? Ooh, yes! Yes! So, if you fuse a spellcaster that's really, really high level with a thunder, you still get common memory attack! Yeah! We also remember this guy from memories that are forbidden. Alright! Yes, send that card to the graveyard with a thunderbolt, and I will gladly grab a drink. Wow. I can't believe we outed it. <laughs> I just tried that on a whim, to be honest. So. <laughs> Be gone with the thunderclap. <laughs> All right. Oh, the taunt. The taunt from Kali Mari attack. <laughs> Look at that. Uh, yeah, and sometimes if you win enough battles, your cards will start doing taunts, victory taunts, so that's pretty interesting. Turn into... Alright, Tristan. Oh, he didn't even summon, bro. He didn't even summon? Uh-oh. I use a pyro with a warrior. Well then, build. Name souls, man. Man. Go. Name a sword of battle. Man. Alright. And now, Pumpkin, rise from the grave and attack. You lose. Good day, sir. Yeah, pretty easy game, I'd have to say. Uh, not too bad. You win. Yatta. Alright, well, let's try to win Legit. I guess. Let's see if it's in the slots. Wow, it is indeed in the slots. It's below common Nari attack. Alright, guys, I'm going to have to really focus for this because Lajin, this early in the game, I didn't even know you could get it. So I'm going to have to really focus here. Hang on. Oh, oh. Oh, missed it by one. There are two green monsters, clearly, so that threw me off. All right, all right, let's try it again. La Jin, La Jin, La Jin, La Jin. Oh, I missed it by a mile. Okay, okay, this is our chance, this is our chance, last chance. Also, if I get that Lord of the Lamp, the card on the bottom, we can fuse for La Jin, so. Yeah. Oh, man. I feel the pressure, I feel it. Ooh, missed it by one. Oh, man. And I missed Lord of the Lamp, too. Man. Eh, it's okay. You can't always get what you want. I almost had three in a row there. 
I don't believe it. You beat the crab out of me. <laughs> Get it? Wow. They really put that joke in there. <laughs> I love this game, man. Oh, my gosh. All right. Next opponent is... My... Valentine now. So, guys, you might not want to face my... Right away. I'm just saying. Um, anyway, let's see if we have any other insects. Let's go by type. Um, so this is a plant. This is a plant, plant, plant. Um, also, zombies are no bueno in the upcoming fight. You may or may not want to take those out. Depends on the field card you have and stuff. Um, yeah, so just give me a heads up. Um, uh, Tripwire Beast. Oh, that's funny. That's, uh, didn't this card glitch my game in Forbidden Memory? That's hilarious. Uh, that's in our starting deck. But to be fair, we did pick Th Thunder Nyan Nyan, so we do have more Thunders than usual, you know? So, yeah. Um, let's take out, I'm thinking King Fog, um, yeah, let's also take out, uh, Jin? Yeah, let's, t let's take out Jin. Maybe Time Lord. Hey, hey guys, 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 guys. Is Necromancer the Time Lord part of the 2021 Time Lord archetype? Oh. Comments below. In the pod. No, seriously, I want to know. Seriously, like if you use the... Because you guys know how there's a continuous spell that lets you search Time Lords. Can you search Necromancer? Oh, wait. It says level 10 Time Lords, doesn't it? On the search card? It does, doesn't it? It does. That's why it says level 10. Because if it said just a Time Lord card, I'm pretty sure you could search this card in 2023. You could search this card. Yep. You could search it. Because it says Time Lord in the name. And I don't think... Konami has ever fixed that mistake. Uh, yes, Psycho. though. And of course, in the Japanese version, this card has completely different translation. And the kanji, Time Lord, Time Lord isn't even a word. So yeah, for this card in the in the Japanese version. So, whoops, translation error by Konami, number seven out of what, like seven thousand? Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> remember the whole frog the jam thing? Ah, that was funny. Anyway, next one. All right. Now, just a heads up. Um, you probably should get better cards from Taya and Tristan before you attempt this. But I'm gonna give it a whirl, and if we lose, I'll get like one or two cards I need from Taya, and we'll come back. Anyway. So you're the one who bet betrayed those who summoned you. I guess I'll have to show you my harpies. Oh, uh, your what? Harpies? Your harpies? No, not harpies, harp. And the error of your ways. Listen here, whaler. My monsters have the power of flight. Go, Masaki. Attack a winged aerobics instructor. No, oh, Joey. In this one battle, uh, land-based monsters have the disadvantage of uh, on flying monsters. And now he tells me. Oh, mountain! Well, um, as you see, this transforms a two-space area into mountain. That's kind of useless since this entire field is mountain. Also, if you check out her leader, yeah, increased movement. That's not good. Her leader can move two squares, whereas yours can normally only move one. So. Not good. Uh, let's just try and see if we can win here. Alright. Let's go. Alright. Nice. Um... Let's 
Move to the side. And pass. Yep, we're gonna pass. Alright, Maya, what'd you put out for sure? That's a big boy. Ooh, blue winged crown. Yeah, that's, uh, could be worse. 2100, though? That's pretty good. Oh, wow. <laughs> Wing attack. Was that a Pidgey that used that, or what? Oh, what was that? <laughs> Sorry about that. Uh, okay. Hey, we're good. Whoa. My lamp almost fell down. Sorry, Sorry about that noise, guys. Obviously didn't mean for that to happen. But it's all good. Um... Well, we can defend a little bit, so let's move right here, and let's play this. I guess in defense mode, huh? Um, wait, I have a fusion, don't I? Fusion hop? Sweet. Yeah, the dark bitch, alright. And I'm just going to move this card in, right here. Uh-oh. Well, see ya, Dark Witch. That's unfortunate. That's one of her much better trap cards. So, yeah, that is really unfortunate. But, well, alright. Yeah, I was hoping that'd be like a bluff or a magic card of some sort, but... Yeah, that is real unfortunate. Um, well, we can make another one. Dark Witch number two. Ooh, what? That didn't work. This is a female, right? And this is a fairy? That didn't work. Oh, my. Um, uh, move over here. Turn into the problem is now, I've given my way too many turns in a row. This is not good yet. I mean, luckily she's just sitting there with her monster, so that's good for us. Um, uh, okay, ooh, okay. Backup strategy, here we go. Alright. See, this is what I was talking about. You see how zombies have a terrain disadvantage? However... <laughs> All right, let the duel truly begin. Oh man, she's music. Watch out! All right, all right. Already, my dear. So here's the thing: we want pumpkin in defense. Good. Um, what does she fuse? Ooh. Ooh, man. Okay. Um. Ah, uh, that is, uh, uh, I guess I can slow her down a little bit. Let's slow her down slightly. And I will s move this out of the way. And I'll end the turn. Alright, my, alright, alright. She, she might win this one, guys. Legit, legit. She really might, so. Yeah, yeah. Simon no jutsu. Yeah. Alright. Power increase, yummy. So if you didn't know, Pump King basically has its anime effect. As long as you keep it in defense. So he'll pump himself and all other zombies by 100 to start his charge. Pretty good card, honestly. Um... Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay, let's move this out of the way, and I'll move here, and I'll end my turn. All right. Very good, very good. Alrighty, guys, so I think what we want to do is this. So let's try this out. Um, let's 
let's dump this first. Do this. I'm pretty sure this will work. Kick out. Fusion! Yes. Alright, that's what I've been waiting on. Yeah, we get Crimson Sunbird. Yeah, another card from Memories That Were Forbidden. And now, I shall fight your opponent, Eagle. Let's watch. We. This is kind of what I've been waiting on. It's like the trump card of our mountain deck. Alright, who wants some fried chicken? I know I do. Twin Fire Twister. It's time to throw you on the grill. Alright. Sweet, sweet. <laughs> Oh yeah, let him know who he's clucking with. <laughs> that was funny. Uh, keep that joke in, Tim. That's a nice clean joke, so. Alrighty, I will switch this to defense. Well then, I'll end my turn after I... Yeah, I'll end my turn. Defense mode, that's what I like to see, defense mode. Alright. So this only has, what, 17? We can beat that, we can beat that. Uh... Hmm. Interesting. Let's try... This combo. Sure. So, normally I don't really use Goddess of Wind. It's interesting, though. Um, it's kind of like... <laughs> I mean, Goddess of Wind is basically like a gamble card, since its uh, stats can randomly either go up or down in the middle of battle by up to 1,500. So, if you're feeling lucky, just attack with Goddess of Wind. Maybe you'll win. Maybe, maybe not. But we're going to try. We're going to try. If nothing else, we'll see our attack animation, so... That's awesome. Let's check on chat. Looking good. And I'll check my phone here. Okay. All right. I need to charge this up, actually. still sounds fine, so, and as far as I can see, you guys can see everything, so, it's like we're good, I'll, I'm gonna take a quick bathroom break, and I'll come back, so, alright. 
Change the category to Dolls of the Roses, so now I'll be right back. <laughs> Thank you. 
But at least we got the 500 attack gain versus the 1500 point loss. <laughs> now it's been bad. Oh, I fuck these. Attack all, all, all of our monsters at once. <laughs> Doesn't anybody follow the rules in this game? Unable to attack this time. Protect me, archery girl, with your life points. And I'll move you in the circle. Alright. Yep. At least she's in the corner. That's that's a good sign. You can ever uh, get the AI or the uh, opponent into the corner. That is a pretty good sign. You're close. So we're going to take another hit on the life point meter, but. This is good. This is what we want. Yeah. 
Yep, and that's the only thing I wanted to do by playing thun uh, electric glitches like that. I just wanted to have her, you know, her AI get scared and move to the corner. That's literally all I wanted, so. Alright. She, this card is free, so watch out. Let's move this to the fence. Okay. Let's... This is in the fence. Let's see what we draw. Good and Earth. Um, let's defend, and we will get the turn. No, I could move back here. No! <laughs> it's okay. Back at play in place. It's okay. It's okay, guys. We may have to just kind of back off here. Oh, man. Why did she get that passage from oh. <laughs> all right, all right. Well, at least we're gonna stun her. Man, why did she have to have acid trap pull and invisible? Jeez. Well, at least we got rid of those two cards, though. Yeah. Man. She ain't playing, though. She is not playing. Man. And what sucks is both times she got us with those cards, like, she nabs two pretty strong cards. Yeah, Dark Witch, which I've got power-ups for, and also she nabbed, um, yeah, she grabbed Mega Ultra Chicken, man, my flaming verb. So, man. Yeah, she is not playing around, man. Yeah, that's fine. I guess I'll move this with me, because I draw a pair. Uh, that's somewhat helpful, actually. Um, let's move up. Let's move up with this. And I will hit the turn there. Actually, girl, come around. Red Archery will make the long way around here and just follow me. Long story short, the plan is I'm going to start moving my leader over this way, or like toward toward her leader over this way, and we're going to try to summon something on the wasteland and attack her directly. That's the plan. Um, she keeps getting spellbound when attack when she's destroying Earth, so that's also part of the plan. Also, eventually, this card will be strong enough to kill her, so just keep an eye on that skull in in the meantime. Let's go out here. Alright. And in the meantime, we're also, like, disabling all of our traps with, uh, so Pumpkin King does not run into the so there's that. Uh, speaking of disabling, let's run this up. Aha! Caught you bluffing, mine. What was that? Curse Breaker, yeah, let's take a bite of that. Um, alright. Ooh. Ooh. That could be good, that could be helpful. Um, let's just make sure she destroys this first and gets stunned. Uh, let's have you come over. Uh, I will get rid of one card in my hand, though. Let's get rid of a Thunder, doesn't matter which one. Um, and let's just put this right over here. Yeah. Just so I can draw a new card. Yeah. So, okay, my turn. All right, mine. Yeah, the only thing she has that's threatening is this, you know, which she powered up, like, what, two times? Or does she power it up three times? I don't know, but Sisters is the only thing I'm scared of right now. Everything else? Not really, no. So. Alright. Appreciate it, all my Earth Leaves, all my Earth Fire Monsters. You're doing good. Oh, man. <laughs> All right. Luckily, my deck comes with a whole slew of burnt monsters. Otherwise, I think I would have been uh, finished off. 
Yeah. 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 I'm not paralyzed, and I will not be struck by you. I want to make you all these things to you. All right, and now let's check out what the car is Uh, I guess we'll keep moving you over. Uh, let's see what car we got. Uh, that's pretty good as well. Um, yeah, let's just, um... I'm actually gonna, this is an earth, so I can use that to defend, but I'm actually gonna summon a troll goblin here, yeah, and we're just gonna, yeah, can you take corn of white? No, okay, um, yeah, let's just attack, let's just, let's just go on in, let's just see what happens, yeah, yeah, let's go on in with a crow, can you crow, we'll get killed. How will the crow goblin attack? <laughs> Looks like he's reading a book. That's funny. Is he using instant transmission? Whoa. Dark dust cyclone. He had freaking pwn, bro. That was a baller attack, bro. Wow. Because <laughs> he held up the finger. I thought he was going to use instant transmission and then... I don't know. That book's teaching him. Oh, I see you, Crow Goblin. Nice attack, bro. What's what's he reading in that book? <laughs> All right. Well, another monster refers down, and I can actually slide this way and be safe from this card. So yeah, let's do it, and I will. Defend right here. Let's just keep this up. Uh, okay, well, this is my signature card, and I'm sure you guys have seen it before, but long story short, let me read it out loud. Trap, full range, permanent trap. That triggers when an enemy card completes the move and the defense position automatically changes the card to offense defense position. <gasps> You know what that means. No defense, modi modi, until you destroy this cardi cardi. Now, luckily, we're pretty close to her leader. So I can just kind of move Thunder Kid right here, and then, or move it like, I don't know, yeah, right here, one, two, and then just kind of crawl it up. Um, but what I'm actually probably going to do is hopefully we draw something that's good on Wasteland, and then I'll slide to the left, and then, because obviously we need to defend. Because this card will take out a big chunk of our life point. So, yeah. Okay, that's bad. All right. Anyway, um, yeah, I'll end the turn. All right, go ahead, Mike. But one good thing about that card is it's kind of blocking her in. Like, you see how our leader's right here? Yeah, this card's blocking her in. So if we attack her from the flank from this side, you'll have to run over her own card. And she can't move twice. This could be a good thing. Let's see. All right. Um, I'm just going to move here. One square. That way I'm out of range of this. Yeah. Then. Okay. Ooh, perfect. Perfect. Guys, this is exactly what I was talking about. Perfect. So see, this is an earth. And also, it could move twice. So all I want to do is move here. Uh -huh, move here. And then... Well, depending on what she does, I'll be able to be free to move in defense. So I can summon this at any time and then move it forward too. But what I think I'll do first is... Wait, I can't use defense mode. Ooh, maybe I should do this right now with this. Well, I mean, to be quite frank, though, I think this card will be safe to going in. Yeah, Kaminari attack. I think it can handle whatever's here on the mountain or here. So, we'll have this card go in. You know what? No, no, no. Like I said, attack her from the flank. Let's do it. Let's have it go in this way. So I kind of wasted the move, putting it here and sliding. But I think we can trick her to come here, and then we'll go beyond her. So, we're going to basically start using my leader as bait. So, that's the plan. Let's end the turn. Good, good, perfect, perfect. Perfect. All right. Oh no 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 no! It's the mighty 
Taiho. Alright, alright. Wow. You got me with that, Mike. Good job. My goodness. We've got this, though. We can actually stop this madness, so... Man. Sorry, Kaminari. That's my bad, brother. Wow. Yeah, don't call it for yourself, you can't end all fury thing. Alright, I only lost 300 on that. that I'm okay with, but... Man! Mai's playing like power-ups without the boss. Um, as you see, our sword deck doesn't have that many powers, but Jesus. Um, one thing I will do is I'm going to sneak behind this card. So I'm going to move twice over here real quick. Good, no traps, good. Um, I'm also going to... Yay, okay, yay. Okay. I'm going to summon this, because it's an Earth, and we do need to defend really bad right now, so... I'm going to do that. So... Yeah. Alright. Go Stone Ghost. Okay. And then, this has 2,700. So if I move... Man, uh, I'll have 12. I'll barely be alive, but, uh, okay, girl, move here. You move here. That gives you 12. 12 minus 27. 1,500? Man, I could lose right here, but I'm hoping I don't. So. Alright, alright. Yeah, we know this. We know I'm taking that chunk. But the real question is. Wow. Yeah, the real question is, man, maybe I should have taken out Shadow of Eyes earlier. That might have been my big misplay here. Well, ultimately, it comes down to what she drew. If she, if she slaps a bunch of power-ups, then we've lost. Also, if it happens to be strong on the wasteland, she also has one car that's a warrior. It's called Empress Judge. And it's just a fly out 2100. And if she attacks Stone Ghost, we also lose. So. Summon? Yeah. Ooh, no power ups? Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Okay. Ooh, that was worry. Um, now we can attack her directly here. So that's good. Um, I'm going to attack here first and see what happens. Um, also, I need to get out of the way. Um, that kind of helps. Um, let's... Yeah, let's attack first, see what happens. Magic card, good, good. Okay, okay. Um, Cyber Shell, right. Let's just attack. Good, good. We've got our box in, you know, so to speak. That's good. That gives us a chance. One more direct attack and one attack here. Man, um... Now, the only other thing I need to do is put this in defense. Good. And, um, also I need to back away, straight away, and then put a card be between us, you know. So, let's just do strength and defense, and we're good. Luckily, this is an Earth 2, so it's going to uh, freeze her again. So, we're good. All right, we may have this, guys. We may have a shot. And let's watch the OG Tyho. This card normally only has 1,200 attacks, so it's impressive that she's doing all this. <laughs> Not bad, my, not bad. And the end from the Lord of the Rings goes down. Alright. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we know, we know. <laughs> Alright. Yeah. Stay. Yes, we win. We win, guys. We won. We won. All right. And now. Nice. Ooh, I can show you guys a new fusion like this. So if we fuse this, a beast with a flower, you get flower wolf. Oh, wait, I've already shown that, right? 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but you can't use a beast with a female. Yeah, to make a new creature. Let me show you guys. Yeah, so this is Neko Gal number two. Yeah. Yeah. There we go. I guess I'll move Pumpkin because, you know, might as well. And then we will attack. Alright, guys, with that, we have beaten my Valentine on the first try. Alright. Alright. Whew, that was a close duel, but we pulled it out. Okay. Nice. You win. We got really lucky that she trapped herself in the corner there. Alright. And that Shadow of Eyes was scary, though, huh? Alright, but she's got some really good traps in there and a lot of uh, power ups, so. Alright. Harpy Lady, we'll take it, we'll take it. Um. Nice! Okay. That's a power up. Um. Huh. Let's see here. I think I'll aim for Curse Breaker, actually. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Ooh, missed it by one, but you know, we almost got Shadow Hive. The Monstrous Bird isn't even that bad considering we have the Mountain Current, so. Alright, and we got one power up. We got Electro Whip. Electro Whip. Alright, what do you say, my? Losing to the likes of you makes my skin crawl. You shall not be so lucky when you reach the continent, for Yugi and his forces are a force to be reckoned with. Huh. So she's saying, you better check yourself before you wreck yourself. Anyway, we're going to save here, guys. Alright. Dover. Huh. Nice. Alright. Let's change out some cards and improve the deck. Yeah, that's kind of what we're doing. We're just slowly improving it as we go. You guys know how it is. Alright. And yeah, this has been a fun stream, I gotta tell you. Alright. <laughs> Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's play. You get Duels of the Roses. Alright, so I'll take out three cards for these. Uh, one, and... Jin? Yeah, Jin's kind of... Um... Also, like last game, I noticed we were working, you know, working on thunders. Not really, but technically we were drawing so many that we can't really use with. Which is sort of working, but not really. Um, I will take out... Let's take out... This card. And let's throw in this card. And this card. And this card. Alright. Let's also take out. Metabat? Yeah, Metabat. I love you, but it's time to go. Big trap. Yeah, let's go. Let's go. Alright. And now, guys, it's time for my favorite character the Flood Duelist. Mega. Let's watch. Alright, yeah, spoilers, by the way, spoilers, but, uh, you know. Here it comes, guys, the Mako Tsunami Impersonation. <laughs> if you're looking for a boat to take to you, kind of, the, if you're looking for a boat to take you across to the continent, climb aboard, landlubber. I am not a freaking fish guy. I love that headband, bro. Look at him, he looks so small. All right, Land Lover, you, if you want to reach the continent, you'll have to face me in a duel. Ha 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 I respect you, Joey Willer, but you have a lot to worry. You have a lot to learn about the power of the ocean. For the ocean is my what? Me? I'm a, my name is Mako. Card mercenary of Matab I'm not even sure if that's how you say that. I'm not even sure if that's how you say that, but I've always said it like that. My name is Mako, card mercenary of Bretoxne. That sounds French, doesn't it? Bretoxne? Porque? Bretoxne? Non? 
Oh, wee oui, wee. Oui. Alright. So, yes, I deeply apologize if I'm butchering the name of your country. And I respect you. I hope you respect me. Ricochet. Ha! At sea, you are in my element, Wheeler. I've been waiting for you to cross my path. And now you shall feel the power of the ocean. Defeat me, and I'll deliver you, deliver you to the shores of Bologna. And also, speaking of delivery, did you know you can use DoorDash and also use your Prime sub that you get once per month to subscribe to Flood and Mod 14's channel? That's also a delivery and very delicious and hot, just like the bologna sandwich that I'm offering to deliver you to the shores of. Is that bologna or is that like bologna? <laughs> I've got nothing against you, landlubber, but I've been paid well to ensure you never reach the continent, and I intend to keep my end of the bargain. Alright, guys, here we go. And, yeah, if you do want, you know, blood or water-based cards, this is the Guided Duel, and as you guys know, my name's Bloodmod14, so I may duel this guy like ten times before we, yeah, anyway. Ha! As I told you, the sea is my element. You haven't got a chance. Is that so, Tsunami? We'll see. We'll see about that. Yo, 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 yo. It's the D-O-R-B. It's the... Yo, time to, time to duel. Go. Let's go. Forward one square. Let's summon. Up in here. Let's play a little thunder lizard. Let's get it. In the in the like the got us a win, ding ding look at the end. Let me put the display on, look at the graveyard, press the turn, start, go. This guy's going down, power increases. Guess what? I don't even need to cease this. A rap surprise all tight. I summon duel every night. And I draw cards. And I turn his life points into shards. Broken pieces, broken pieces, broken pieces. Let's do a go. In my turn, yo. Uh, yo, summon another card. Guess what? Doesn't matter. Now my goddess on the wheel is gonna get better. Up that go. Her points are the same. Well, I didn't expect that. I was hoping for a big lucky roll. Sorry, God, some whim. This is Red Archery Girl! Oh, yeah. Huh! Isn't that a Pegasus card? Oh, sorry, guys, I'm leaving. Alright, starting this duel off with a disadvantage. Are you laughing? Oh, you won't be laughing after this. Huh. Yeah, 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 get paralyzed, son. Yeah, so in this game, uh, light paralyzes uh, water, so, yeah, that's why I wasn't too afraid there. Um, let's go with, uh, these cards. Uh, just in case I'm wrong, let's do this. Alright. Fusion no! Let's make a victory, it's all my time! Alright, Dark Witch. Yeah, that should be strong enough, because he didn't use the power up on the other card. Yeah, he just powered up this card, so let's go. What you got, Mako? Ha ha ha! I summoned another creature of the deep. Ah, not moving two to attack me, huh, Mako? Scared? You should be. Ooh, there's my red archery girl. Alright. Now, luckily we can make pumpkin again. Um, so let's just do that. Um, I will put this here. Let's set a thunder monster. Okay, and I'll pursue him. Obviously, you want to pursue him from the right side. That way he goes toward this way and into the meadow where he does not have the advantage. So, yeah, that's the plan there. I will end my turn. Go ahead. What have you got, Tsunami? Nice. Good, good, good. Move out of my way. Yep, yeah, that's good. Attack. Ah, oh, I'm scared, man. Alright, well, we'll attack you. Oh, Gucci. <laughs> okay, whatever. Alright, so it teleported in front of me, which 
kind of doesn't matter because all I'm going to do is destroy it. So let's go with this character. Dead. All right. Now it's time for my red archery girl tsunami. Sacred arrow. Oh, what is what is uh, a <laughs> Tagalog say in Yasha? Hit the mark. You know, and just let it go. Yeah. <laughs> what a weird English translation of her attack. <laughs> all right. All right. Don't get too cocky, Starbucks. All right, and I will. In the turn. Yeah, I'll end the turn. Good. What you got, Mako? Summoning. That's cool. Uh, what else, bro? Attacking. <laughs> Signing notions. <laughs> Taking that. Root water. Let's get to the root of the problem. <laughs> see what I uh, see what I did. It's a joke class based on root and uh, these jokes are flooding <laughs> your mind with a little too much Yu-Gi-Oh. It's okay. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Down four, yeah. No. Ooh, but yeah, I'm not too worried about this duel. Mainly because a lot of our thunders have the advantage here. So yeah, thunders have advantage in both sea, as you would guess, because you know water connects electricity, and a uh, mountain. So and a lot of our deck uh, started with thunder. So. Not too much to worry about, bro. Not too much to worry about. Ooh, nice! We beat it by just 100. Looks like that power up on Dark Witch is clutch. Alright. See what you've got, big nose. Hockey here on. Pixie Dust! Huh. <laughs> I'm a fairy. I love pixie dust. Let's see you try this on. That's right. I knew you're a water monster, so I brought my electric lightning staff. Go! Sacred arrow from the sky. Ooh. <laughs> I like Dark Witch's attack in this game. It's not bad. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. All right. Sweet. Now this is mine. This is his girl. Okay. 1400, huh? Oh, 1400. 40 bucks. 40 bucks. 40 I think I'll take advantage of her movement and move her two right here. That way he's inclined to move that way. And then I'll move Dark Witch here. And as for this monster, I will simply summon Pumpkin. Now I'll summon this for Flower Wing. Yeah, and we'll just take it down. Alright. Add a boy flower wolf. Wolfie. We're gonna start calling him Wolfie. Good doggy. Good Wolfie. This is easy Wolfie, yeah. Hey, who's a good boy? Who's a good boy, Wolfie? Bon Sin Bon Fabulous. Ichigo Kurosaki. You are no match for my Bon you could not have possibly obtained Bankai yourself, for only a very few soul reapers, only a handful have only have managed to reach the pinnacle of power, which is Bankai. All right, turn in though, go into the meadow, Mako. That's right. That's exactly where I want you to go. Yeah, yeah. Now, this card is free, and it can move backwards. So just keep that in mind. I will go here. Right here. Maybe. But, uh, 
start. Ooh, perfect, perfect. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to move this out of the way. I'm going to use my leader as bait and summon this card, which can freeze him. Yeah, pretty good. Okay. So let's summon this. And I will defend. And I'll move Dark Witch in. Turn into. We're just setting up a wall of monsters, basically. Yes, it works. I'm in the juice. All right, looks like we've been stunned again. All right. And now it's time to show you guys a little bit of the new fusion. So let's move this way. Let's move this card here. Let's drop this thunder. Fusion card! And we have the Immortal of Thunder! Yeah. Now check this out. This is kind of a weird effect. While this card's a face-up defense position, all female monsters are reduced by 500 points. This is a female monster, and so it will work on it. Um, but this is, these two are also female, so I may or may not use this effect, but in the meantime, let's just move it right here. And I'll move here. And I'll move Wolfie. Let's attack. No, no, no. Let's not Wolfie go here. Let's attack this. With which. Okay. High Tide Baby. High Tide Baby. High Tide PLG. Okay. Alright, let's take this water monster out. To lunch. With another electric staff attack. Go, electric arrow! It's time to point you in the right direction, and that's the graveyard, because when I summon my dark witch, well then, her thunder pike is super effective against your water techniques. Alright, next monster. Archery girl, attack here. Nice. Uh-oh. Well, he's got more flood terrain to work with, so that's not good. Not good. Hmm. That'd be an interesting card to win, though, in the slot. Huh. This monster that we're attacking looks familiar. Fury Seeking. I could have sworn I saw, saw, saw this monster somewhere else on my channel. My YouTube channel? Yeah, it's pretty familiar. Eh, whatever. Oh, oh, she's making a mockery out of me. Alright, Red Archery Girl showing her worth in this deck for sure. Alright, I think they built the starter deck with, with her in mind, like for sure, for this exact moment. She is popping off, man. Alright, and he's frozen, so uh, in my turn, Nico. Okay. What you got, buddy? Defense mode, that's what I like to see. Alright, and she's free now. Um, do I want to use the defense position up there? Um, hmm. Probably not. Let's just attack first. Let's see what happens here. Magic card, that's not good. That's not good. Ooh. Ooh! Why did he activate this? Why did he not activate this? Check this out. Boost attack defense? Well, then again, it works on all waters and I'm in water. Maybe he calculated that, that he would boost me. But still, that's crazy. Um, I will switch Wolf to... No, actually. If she attacks me here, she'll go down to 1900, which I'm fine with. I will, however, move this out of the way in case I'm going to use its effects. And the last card I'll play is. Dark Prisoner, right here. Yeah, that's. good. Uh, its effects will make sure we don't take damage no matter what. So, yeah, let's do that. And I can go up. I can do my leader up. 
Yeah, let's do it, and I'll end my turn. What you got, Miko? Nice. Okay, so I baited him into coming after my leader, which is good, which is good. We want to keep his best monster distracted, you know, with the enticing offer of attacking us directly. And this monster's been on the field since turn one. Wow, it's crazy. Hit the bark! I sense the presence of a sheet cone jewel shard. Where is it, Kanawe? I hear a tall stealer. Oh man, that was terrible. That hurt my throat, dude. Now let's check on chat. <laughs> okay, we're good. I was gonna make a funny clip though. Chad Sayon! Alright, it looks like we've won, so. Dark Witch attack. Wait, let's make sure this is a trap. Yeah. Okay. So, neither of that. Interesting. As you see, Zone Eater is actually quite a good card. It wipes out a whole horizontal zone. Uh, and replaces it with C, aka Flood Terrain. Pretty good, pretty good. Alright, hit the mark. I sense Naraku! He's got a whole, he's got a whole, like, chunk of the Sacred Jewel Shard. I sense a, a large cluster of Jewel Shards in that direction. <laughs> heck yeah, heck yeah. Alright, and I'm going to explain to you guys. Yeah, another way you can win in this game. So, you see how we have him in the corner and, like, Dark Witch is here? Uh, we are going to attack him directly just for the lulls. But, yeah, we you see how he's boxed in? And, um, yeah, he can't summon anything. So, he can't summon here, he can't summon here, he can't summon here. That is what we call Checkmate. So, yeah, you can actually win with Checkmate. And with that, I'll switch this to Defense. Because, you see, it does lower the power of my female monsters, too. So, yeah. And now I guess we'll see if we can kill his last monster, 1900. Let's see if we can defeat it. Um, close with the bird. Close, 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 close. One thing I can do, however, is move here, and then we'll make the usual pumpkin fusion. And if I put pumpkin in defense, he won't beat it. So there we go, 19, 2000. There we go. All right. And with that, we win the duel, guys. So. Pretty good. You shall not pass. Everyone knows pump, pump, pumpkins love water, which is why your arrow won't work. I know it doesn't sound like it makes sense, but your water, your arrow is mainly made partly of water. See the bubbles? That indicates you're using a water arrow, which my pumpkin through its special ability a bee, a plant, can absorb. Ha ha. Alright, and you see, we went, what's funny is that explanation I gave would totally be okay in Duel's Kingdom. And that's... That's sad. Duel's Kingdom had so much BS. Oh, God. Uh, a lot of cards here. A lot of good cards. Um... Yeah. Okay, that's good. That's good. Um, let's see if we can get. Let's see if we can get his deck leader, which is right there. Kai Ryushin. Let's see if we can get it. Nice, 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 nice. nice. All right. Ooh, good card. Hey, we got some. Well, love cards there. Some pretty good ones, too. Yeah. All right. We're just rolling along here, man. Nice. Ha 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 ha! Wheeler, you are something else. I never dreamed I'd lose a duel on the sea. It was great to duel you, my friend. And best of luck in the Battle City Finals. Ha 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 ha! I guess a promise is a promise. I'll deliver you to the shores of Baloney. With a DoorDash subscription. I'm sorry, it's actually pronounced Bolon. Bolon. Ha ha ha, let's go, my friend. To the seven seas. And we get this little message Success! You entered France. Yeah, remember when Kaiba told us to do that like 20 minutes ago? 
Speaking of Kaiba, where has that guy been? Crazy guy. Uh, I just love having the, the uh, you know, the guy with the cool blue eyes, white dragon armor. I mean, you have to admit, that armor he was wearing, you know, about an hour ago, looks badass. Uh, anyway. So we got some new monsters here. Let's just not read what they do like we're true Yu-Gi-Oh players and put them in the deck. So let's take out this card. Let's put in this card. Let's take out some other cards. Let's take out this normal card. Yeah, well, maybe not yet. Eventually I will take this out. Yeah. Uh, let's take out this card, and let's take a... this card? Yeah! And let's put in this card, and this card, and let's take it out. How many thunders do we have? Let's check by type. Uh... Thunders, 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 thunders. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, wow, no wonder we are bringing up thunders. Wow, yeah, uh, let's take out tripwire bees. Yeah, and let's throw in bird. Uh, let's also take out... Electric Snake? There's no way this effect ever comes up. Yeah. A thousand extra points. Yeah, let's take out Snake Boy. And let's put in... I don't know. Something. Uh, something that I can at least use with. Uh, I can throw that in. Sure, why not? And let's also take out... I think we can afford to take out another Thunder, actually. Uh... Yeah, we can. Um... Or I could take out one of these weak plants. Uh, no, no, no. Let's take out a thunder. Yeah, like eight thunders is a lot. Um, yeah, now we got one, two, three, four, five, six? No, five. Um, let's take this one out. Yeah. Okay. And then let's throw in. Let's throw in this one. It's got lower deck cost or lower summoning level, only two. Yeah, I like that. Um, also, let me think about fusion stuff. Fusion stuff. Man, I wish we would have gotten live. Yeah, that would have been so cool. Um, hmm. Hmm. I'm just thinking. I'm just thinking. Um. Okay, let's take out one more card. Scale Angel? No. Uh, maybe this. Huh. Um, huh. Um, well, I have only one zombie in this deck. I, uh, let's take it out. I don't know what to take out. Um. Oh, boy. Okay, Big Bird. Sorry, Big Bird, you're out. Sorry for this. Yeah. Yeah, sorry, Big Bird. I just, you know, I can't stand here forever thinking of a decision. And, and that Big Bird is six stars, so that's pretty questionable. Um. Yeah. Save. Yes. All right. Yeah. Yeah. I'm Joey Wheeler. Do this thing, but you can call me uh uh Joey from uh what's a popular uh British city. Hey, you can call me Joey of the uh yeah of the Perry. Yeah, that's right. I'm from Paris. Anyway, I believe you've been looking for me, do this yeah in England. Oh wait, England. Oh, sorry. I'm actually from London, not Brooklyn. Nah. In England, I'm on this Christmas us week. What? But I'll be best remembered as the slayer of the Rose Duelist. Nah. Let's move. Huh? Christopher Ursula. Hmm. I don't know even know who that is. In history? Civics? Beats me. I don't know. 
But uh, let's school this guy. Alright. Summon. Ooh. Good card. Alright. Pretty good first hand, honestly. Um, I will set a random video card. And it's the turn. Go ahead. Uh, Brooklyn. Me. I summon a monster. Nothing for four. And I end my turn. And. Alright, Joey. I'll do this. I'll summon. No goblin. Forward. Two spaces. Nice, nice. <laughs> Look at my pirate card. <laughs> you could say he gets a lot of booty. <laughs> By that I mean money. You know, pirate, it's a joke. It's the transmission of the darkness. Arr. Why is the rum of these gods heavy? That's gonna make a nice little YouTube clip. <laughs> nice, 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 nice. We're still recording, right? Uh, yeah, unfortunately we're spellbound there, but you know, it's all good. We'll move right here and move. Alright. Alright, so let's see what Joey's working with there. Go, yeah, Monster Eye. Reveal his. Fine. Uh. I guess that meant. Holy smokes, what a good effect. Okay. Um, this is a Joey esque card, so. Ooh, Montagna, Tony Montagna, but more importantly, this turn we can destroy Time Wizard right away. So. Should I destroy, attack Time Wizard? Or do I think he'll be dumb enough to move forward in space after a 0 0 monster? Huh. Let's just play Mountain over here, because I've yet to show that. And I'll end my turn, Wheeler. Yeah, I draw, and I'll play a card face down. What time is it? Oh my goodness, he actually went for it. Alright, Wheeler, I'm going to see what I draw. Nice, we're drawing some good magic cards here. Um, I'll set this face down. And now, Wheeler, I activate Montagna, Tony Montagna. Mainly, I just want to change the square time wizards on the mountain. So, it's going to help quite a bit. And now, well then, I think I'll attack your time wizard. It's time for another instant transmission of darkness rejuvenation spell. Let's watch. <laughs> I just realized the actual attack name. You guys don't want to know the actual attack name? Black Whirlwind. But this was made before Black Wings. Crow Goblin breaking the meta. <laughs> nice. Yeah, Black Whirlwind. That is a great game for that attack. Big chunk of damage for Joey there. I end my turn. Uh -huh. Hey. Oh, hey, yeah. Oh, boy. Ooh, okay. Um. All right, Joey, I've got a fusion for you. So I'll move this. All right, and now, well then, I'll move my monster eye. I'll fuse a beast with my plant to form. Flower Wolf, once again, appear. But I'm not done yet. Next, I'll mix my Flower Wolf with my monster eye. It's been on the field since turn one and four. Go, Chimera, a flying mythical beast, and attack it. <laughs> All right, Joey. I'll move forward. Then in my turn. 
Now, Joey, time to see if you're bluffing. I summon this card. So I'll combine a zombie with a fox. Hehehe. <laughs> the fourth, the one and only, King of Ghosts, Hulk King. Attack. Ha! I knew you were bluffing, Chiquila. And that's why, oh my god, you guys, the shrunk herd. Well, good thing we have a chance to win it in the graveyard slots now. Go, Crow Goblin! Black Whirlwind Attack! You lose, Willa. Now hand up your ghost card. Alright. Not many cards in the slots, but a uh, Baby Dragon? Time Wisher, Copycat, all pretty good cards, yeah, so, nice, nice, okay, okay, yes, I did it, I did it, we got three in a row, guys, what do we get, what do we get, what do we get, ooh, that's actually pretty good, oh, okay, yeah, so let's check that out. Enchanted Javelin. Nice. That actually might help us with the end boss, believe it or not. Yeah, look like I underestimated you. Ah, I've been waiting for you, Star Fox. Ah, look at Joey tugging the collar. Ah, oh, that's, that's cute, Joey. Yeah, yeah look like I underestimated you. Yeah. But luckily, in France, if you guys defeat us, I can get a Royale with cheese. Nah, it's like the super special awesome burger, but with extra cheese. Nah, you see, the difference is the metric system. Alright, anyways, after five duels, I encourage you highly to save. And, uh, yeah, there's a reason you want to save. Because if you wait here on the deck edit screen for a couple minutes, you'll notice, yeah, down there it's flashing like reincarnation. Yeah, so with that, you can go to your deck cost, and basically you trade one card for three other cards. So I'm going to reincarnate this card because it is pretty high deck cost, and yeah. Um, uh, let me think here first before I do that. I could try for an additional field card. If you want an additional, like, of your field card, like, or uh, whatever, reincarnate something close to 30, like, these are 29. I could try, honestly, for another mountain. Um, you know what? Let's do it. Let's try this for a mountain card. The odds of me getting it are really, really low, but, uh... Let's do it. Let's do it. You never know. That's a pretty... We're gonna... Yeah, that's awesome. That is good. That is awesome. Okay. This was a pretty good reincarnation, if I had to say so myself. The reason being is my use this trap against this earlier, invisible wire. Check it out. Disposable trap. Uh, it triggers against monster with 3k or below it destroys them. That's actually really good. So, yeah, we'll take out like one... Uh, shoot. And this, of course, uses into GOE's iconic flame source. Yeah, that. yeah, I think I'll take out one, two, three, four cards. Yeah, let's let's get to it. Uh, let's go to the types. Um, one, two. Pretty easy swap there. Yeah. Uh, three more. This is gonna be the tough part. Um, let's swap out Trent actually for this. Yeah, and then Baby Dragon. Um, Baby Dragon. Four scale angel. I kind of like the effect though. Yeah, I actually really like the effect. Um. Maybe we take uh, this. It is a female card though, and it uses with quite a lot. Maybe not. Maybe we take uh, what does it use? 
that's the thing is, at this point, I think everything in our deck used or has a purpose. Um, this is tough. Um, all right, you got me. We'll take out Skill Angel. Um, I love the effect of um, Three flowers seems good. Uh, maybe I'll take out this for now. No, I kind of want it in. Um, okay, fine. Let's take it out. Yeah, Skill Angel. Yeah, Skill Angel. Okay. Or B. Alright. And with that, guys, we'll just keep on going. Yeah. We haven't lost yet. By the way, if you're wondering what the stream uh, idea is here, my plan was to, like, yeah, just play until we lose, which we haven't done that yet, so <laughs> I guess we'll just... Uh, Play until we lose, or play until we reach the end of this first side, so, yeah. Hope that somebody beats us, I guess, in one stream to end. Anyway, 5B. J. Shiny Morton. Ah, at last, with me, you do this. Ah, you have assoiled the boots of justice with your betrayal. Little boy, your mind lacks the seeds of truth. Ah, I judge you here as unworthy and will punish you by right here and now. Should the power of your mind prove weak, you are destined to fall before me. And this guy's based off of, um, Shadi from the anime, but he does not have donuts. Donuts for my ears. I don't know why I have them for the earrings, though. Alright. Pretty interesting field here, guys. And this is what I like to call the quadrant field, because, yeah, this terrain for the first time, crush. Uh, is here, and uh, yeah, if your attack points are 1500 or below, you can walk on the crush. If they are above, your monster will not live in the crush. So. Speaking of crush, uh, crush cards, yeah, that edit on MBT's recent video was pretty good, so shout out to crush cards. Alright, so since he's summoned, that's either a spell or trap, or clearly has enough stats to survive. Um, let's go. That's not bad. Um, I know what's funny about the crush terrain is I could just move forward and play this, and this will kill what up what's on the crush no matter what. Um, let's do it. Let's do it. New trap, maybe a waste. There's a lot better targets we probably could put that on, but we'll see. Oh. Okay. Well, now that he's in defense, I'm really not worried. So, yeah, let's, uh, Stone Ghost? Okay. Yeah, let's just, uh, move and slide over here and attack. What's nice is if we fail, we bounce back. So, Wire will protect the building. Go, Barrel Lily, Prisman. Not bad. Banana, 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 Prisman. Banana, banana. And this is the crushed field for the first time. Pretty uh weird looking. Yo! Flower Kitten! Oh dude, I was joking. I was making a Digimon reference. And oh look at Prince Man flexing. Also, you may want to check out the stats of your abilities. They are insane. So go here. Yeah, check it. Extended support range, increased strength for rocks, improved resistance, what? And destroys specific enemy type. Good night, man. That's a lot of abilities. But anyway, I'll end the turn. Alright, attack mode. Yeah. Alright, and one thing we can do here is once again use our deck leader as a So, ooh, nice, nice. I think what I'll do is play this face down. 
Okay. And then I'm going to move my leader here. Move all the way this way. Then I'll move this out of the way. And he should just come barreling in here. I get it, barreling. Do a barrel, Lily. And I'll end my turn. Yeah. See, watch. The AI is pretty. If you ever find yourself in a situation that's set, try tricking the AI. Yeah, see, you see how he just went straight forward? I mean, that's not a smart move, but yeah. Yeah. So, uh, alright, alright. Anyway, we move this in. And now, Barrel Lily will attack this. So, um, that's pretty good. Do you take Horn of Light? You do not. Okay. Alright. Oh, Flower Cannon! Alright, round two. Finish. You know, what's just nice though? At least you guys saw me, like, lose a battle on Crush, and then win one. Flower Cannon! Aww! Somebody put Humpty Dumpty back together. <laughs> That's gonna make the highlight real for sure. Nice job, Barrel Lily. Proud of you. Alright, let's uh, summon. Summon the shame. Then I think I'll put this very specific power up. Right here. And I will see if he's willing to attack me. Yeah, so. That's mode. And I will. The turn. Let's go. Alright. Yeah, this guy's not too hard. That might be interesting. Okay. okay. Um, I guess we attack this question mark. Attack? Oh. Oh. Yeah, I was wondering why he didn't attack me. This is a pretty unique effect monster. So check this out. Once we destroy it, you'll see its effects. Pretty good effect, too. And it's, it's, this is Blast Juggler's effect. Normally, its effect isn't good at all in the game, but check this out. Shriek! Boom! So, you may be wondering what it is that it does. So, yeah. Uh, yeah, all cars located in a surrounding 3x3 area are automatically destroyed. So, it destroyed everything, in, including whatever he powered up in the configuration, which was. Oh, he powered up the lizard. Okay, yeah. So, there you go. Um, speaking of the lizard, let's move forward. Ooh, it can take Horn of Light. Nice. And we'll move Wire in. Turn in there. The good news is also we've been powering up Humpty at the whole time, so that's oh, that card can go on for us. That's interesting. Um another workaround for Crush Terrain is uh yeah. Um you see, you're only allowed to be here if you're fifteen hundred or higher. So, something you can do is actually someone like this that has 1600, and you're guaranteed to be here, you know what I mean? But I'm actually going to go with um, this monster. I have yet to use this card. It was actually pretty good. So, yeah, rock in a female equals mystical sand. We know her once again from the breeze that are four minutes. And I'm just gonna let him direct attack me. And next turn I will make the appropriate counter measure. So fire go, turn in there. Alright. There we go, defense, that's what I like to see. What you got? 750. Okay. Yeah, that's kinda why I was willing to take the hit. Yeah. Which, again, that is a strategy. That is a strategy for sure to use in uh, this tool because, yeah, his cards aren't that strong. Like, 750, that's... 
I mean, honestly, I could get pretty good payback here. Um, yeah, so that's, you know, yeah. Um, I think what I'll do is go with it. Can you take a horn of light? No. I think I'll just dodge him from here on out. I mean, I can always move along here and dodge. So, yeah, now that I know what I'm working with, I don't even care to kill him. Like, it's just, it's like a sitting duck. Um, I guess I'll be, I'll summon this. Um, no, let's summon... Bro? I don't know, let's move here to start. Yeah. Ooh, I don't even buy mine. I think I have the uh, Wasteland Rock advantage. Hmm. But yeah, I think I'll summon like Crow and take it have it take the spot of wire. And then just try to go after this guy. Alright, let's check out her attack. Yeah. Sad burial. Game over. Alright. <laughs> We're still recording, right, Tim? Yeah. We're looking good. We're looking good, Tim. Let's keep going. <laughs> oh, 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 the witch cackle. Nice. Ushioni <laughs> looks like Lush in support, though. Alright. Uh, Lizard will go here. And I guess I can summon something in front of me and kill that. But, uh, um, Thunder Kid, go. Attack it. Ha! Caught your bluffing, Shreddy. Alright. And I agree the magic cop, Salamandra. This moves my blade so much for my 700 points. Alright. And I will turn my hand up. Your move. <laughs> this man is really chasing me down with a 750 monster. Yeah, that's right. Run away. Run away, you boy. Right. And this is perfect, and I'll show you why. You see, I can move wire right here to protect whatever I move forward and summon here. So, yeah, move forward. Summon... This... Attack? Heck yeah. And what's nice is the other two zones I can feel with my thunders. So, pretty good strategy overall. And I'll have sand come down here. If I get my field card, I can change it and then move sand in to destroy this. So, that's also an option. So, let's end the turn. I'll also move this over here. Yeah. Alright. Turn it up. What you got, Chatty? What you got? Ah, coming after my leader still. Alright, it's time. Uh oh. Fusion Hall with the power increase. Ooh, got your flame sword, Chatty. Sorry, bro. Alright. Pump keep pump 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 it up. Ooh. Almost, almost. Okay. Alright, once again, I think I'll slide to the left. Attack him directly. Oh, I can't summon a monster. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. Um, there is a fusion I want to try, though. Um, let's... Move this here, and move this here, and let's... Set this break down, and in the turn, oh no. Yeah, in the turn, with this face down. Yeah. Alright. Your move, Shaddy. Your move. Yes, run over your car. That's what I like. Right. Good, good. Okay. Alright, guys, time to try that fusion I was talking about. Um, let's go. Uh, so here's what I want to do. Let's move Blizzard. Let's move this here. Let's try Kaminari with this. 
I wonder if that'll make THTD or not. In case it does, let's play that. Yeah. Alright, Baby Dragon, you're up. Will this make Twin Head of Thunder Dragon? No, it does not. Not in this game, not in this game. Alright, alright. Um, well, something I can show you guys is check this out. You're actually safe to attack certain monsters in this game. You see down there how it's flashing and the types conflict? The game is basically telling you, hey, if you take out this Mega Thunderbolt, you're going to be spellbound, which means Pumpkin won't end his turn in the crash. Meaning, yeah, we're safe to actually take this thing out. Oh, <laughs> Spike ball. Looks like we just spiked the ball. Frieza, you spiked the ball. Spiked the ball. Spiked the that was a Dragon Ball Z appearance joke. In case you were wondering, you win. And yeah, Shadi, pretty easy. Did he even put in anything with higher than 2,500 attack? I don't think so. So, you know. What? Oh, we got his leader. That's nice. Um. Nice. Okay. Oh, he's also got flame swords, but yeah. Uh, nice, we got Salamandra. Oh, and we missed uh, Burple Matt there. Huh. That's funny. I just saw all the magic cards, and that's what I was aiming for. Uh, we have to get his leader, too, which is another rock, so... Yeah. Ah, it would uh, seem that all is lost. Flooding boy Saita, but such is not the case. I've only just begun. Do you think you can have enough power in your mind to face the Yaga Shamash? Mine? Speaking of mine, you done lost yours, Shoddy Morton. What? Maybe he's gonna test us with the Millennium Key. I don't know. I don't know if that was a reference to that. The fact that, yes, he owned the Millennium Key and can test people in the mind, or. He done lost his mind. Y'all gonna make me lose my mind up in here. Up in here. All right, let's look here. Uh -huh. um, wait, what all can take Salamander? Ooh, any fire. Wow, that's really good, actually. Um... The problem with Salamandra is we've only got one fire in the deck, right? Let me check the pyros. Pyro. If I had more pyros, I'd put this in. Um, screw it, let's put it in anyway. Um, so let's take out. Let's take out. What was that? Let's take out. Um, Kaminari Tozo? Sure. 13 for 10? Seems good. And let's take out Monster Eye? Yeah, your time's come. Oh, wait, we got two beans. We got how many plants? Two beans, three plants. That honestly seems like a good break show from Rosie. Rosie, I'm done. Um. So we'll leave you plants. I mean, beans, I guess. Um, beans. How many beans do we got? Only two? Really? I've drawn Lysar like every dual blue. Um, I guess it's like a fusionist. I mean, yeah, the pickings are getting slim here, boys and girls. Um, yeah, fusionist. Adios. Salamandra again. Yeah, because we've made like a fire based fusion like every time we've drawn the pyro. So, I don't think that's the problem. I think the problem is we've only got one Pyro. So, Pyro. Alright, we'll save. And next we have what I would consider probably the toughest duelist on this side of the board. But he's only tough if you've never dueled him before. So, 
Dice, Jasper Dice Tudor. I am Jasper Dice Tudor. I'm Jasper Dice Tudor. I'll show you the true meaning of power. Huh. Is that the reference? Now, I know, obviously, Tudor is, you know, because Yugi's uh, Henry Tudor. Who is Jasper Tudor? Is that actually somebody? I don't know. But, uh, Check out this guy's field. This is what I like to call the, yeah, good luck getting to this guy field, because, yeah, as you see, he has surrounded himself, like, with a castle, and you have to, you know, cross the moat in order to reach him, so, yeah, this is what I like to call the, uh, the, yeah, castle, moat, um, you know, good luck getting to me field, so. <laughs> Let's start with this car over here, and I will in the turn. Dice, powering up. Uh, dump it cards. I do that too, but I, d I dump cards that I don't want. That's nice. Alright. Okay, good, good, good. And we have a water on heel, so... Good combo! Alright. Alright. Yep, now he's got the terrain up. That's good. Uh, let's see what we draw. Okay, okay. Let's summon. No, I can mine a plant with a zombie. This allows me to fuse and to vacuum and I'm the ghost. And he's going to keep the scare of your life, Joey Wheeler. And I, I'll admit I was scared, but it wasn't your ooga booga rap or any of that stuff. It's a creepy face that gave me the willies. Nah. I can't believe they let Joey say that line in the dub. <laughs> All right. <laughs> ooh, ooh, good stuff, good stuff. Um, now, I don't think a fairy and a beast fuse, but... Yeah. Um, they might. If they do, whoops. Oh, well, I missed a few. Sorry, guys. <laughs> um, yeah, by the way, I have to really mention this guy's leader, or let's check his info. Good call, Josh. Exodia, huh? The true meaning of power? Yeah, extended support range, increased strength. Okay, okay. Yeah, let's check this out. As leader, summon the four limbs from your deck. So, long story short, it's easier to summon Exodia in this game. Because all you need to do is draw draw the four pieces, summoning them in your adjacent summoning areas, aka anywhere in your summoning area, and enter your next turn face up without being spellbound, and victory is yours. Yeah. So in this game, you don't even need to have all five pieces in your hand. You just summon them all, you know, in your surrounding zone area and do, as this said, automatic victory. Yeah, Exodia is pretty broken in this game. Not going to lie. All right. Nice. Magic Jammer. Magic Jammer. Ooh. Ooh. What a rip off the top. Check this out. Check this out, guys. It's going to be awesome. All right. Fusion Hall. It is. He's back, baby. Fluffy from Yu Gi Oh! Forbidden Memories. He's back. Alright. Move forward, Fluffy. Yeah. Alright. I'm having fun now. I'm having fun. Let's turn that into. Do, do, 
Card my deck too, and honestly, it'd be nice to get another copy of it. So, all right, I will play this. Sure, why not? All right, your turn. You're right, my Yuki. I guess we can see what he said last time. Let's flip it up. Uh, what the sand? Oh, what? He has Pegasus cards? Now, you know, from the design point, I must say, like, I know he's his deck. But, you know, this guy, Grandpa, was, you know, kind of, uh... Oh, how do we say this politely on YouTube without getting demonetized? He was, um... Not very friendly. He didn't hug Pegasus. In fact, Pegasus used his mystical Millennium Eye to, uh, you know, do the whole Mortal Kombat line. You know, just shoulders, my, you know. Basically, that was funny. Uh, so I was making that Mortal Kombat joke, like, earlier in stream. But that's basically the entire plot line of Season 1. Pegasus has this mystical Millennium item, which can steal people's souls. And all he does is say, hey, Yugi. I want to play a card game with you. Oh, you don't want to play, huh? Guess what, Grandpa? Hmm, your soul is mine. Hmm. And Gr Yugi's like, Ooh. Well, Yugi's like, Grandpa, oh no. And then he's like hugging the TV, and he... that's basically the entire plot. Yeah, Mortal Kombat slash Yu-Gi-Oh! Uh, Duelist Kingdom crossover. Okay. But yeah, the fact that this guy has one of Pegasus's cards when Pegasus kind of, uh, he uh, kind of, uh, uh, how do we say, um, invited him to uh, dinner uh, without a choice. Yeah, he kind of, uh, yeah, I can't really say the word of what he did on YouTube without getting demonetized. But I think you all know what he did and he, that is wrong. And yeah, but like, why would they give Grandpa this card? This decision has never made sense to me. I mean, I know it's a spellcatcher. I know it has a good effect, but the fact that, like, he must have been, like... Uh, every time Grandpa must see Pegasus, like, his brain must just, like, instantly activate, like, hey, bad hombre, bad vibes. So why would he even carry one of his... In fact, this is Pegasus' like, signature card. The card he used in the videotape to uh, capture Grandpa's soul in the first place. So see... The significance of that card in that battle, you know, using its eye of illusion on Dark Magician, etc., makes this decision make even less sense. And, you know, Konami had to approve this, so... Yeah, I don't know who was smoking what when that was approved, but all right. Bad decision, Konami. Minus one, Konami sub. <laughs> Oh, my 
Go, Fluffy, use flamethrower. Let's do it. Alright, let's try. And I'm gonna grab some water. Oh my god! <laughs> Looks like it's time to close the curtains because it's bedtime. It's time to light a candle. See what I did there? Strategy is burn card, so we gotta hurry up and get to him before he starts pulling out the tremendous fires. So watch out. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
Now, unfortunately, that magic card he played a lot of, just as Urks, yeah, it actually won't be in the graveyard slots. Sucks, but uh, he's got plenty of other good stuff in here, though. See what Jasper Tuda has to say for himself. Ah, you may have beat me, but I doubt you'll survive a duel with my nephew. You can wait. Nephew? Ne nephew? Alright, this is a different timeline. Right, we're in ancient Egyptian. Nephew? <laughs> I guess that's Grandpa or Jason, right? Ah, he decided. Now, one thing you may notice here is, uh, look. As, uh, let's check out this guy's deck cards. Yeah, 7, 7, 57. Yikes! That requires some deck action. So, yeah, take out a bunch of high powered stuff, put in a bunch of uh, low powered stuff. Which is where maybe easiest for you is like, you can uh, use this and kind of scroll to DC, which, yeah, that's definitely the best way to do it. So, on the right side, just scroll all the way down. Yeah, and then basically take out like, I don't know, stuff like that, like that. Uh, put in low stuff, so, and even then, like, we're not ready, so take out this, put in, I don't know, this, I don't know, whatever. <laughs> Alright, yeah, 757, that is, wow. Uh, before we do this, though, I'm going to take a slight break before we do the affluence uh, race. I'll be right back. Thank you. 
I say that R N N E S or is it uh, how, how would you say that Renee? Ah, so you'll be what we call the roots. Ah, but you can call me the fuck. Number talk, number talk, may you only call me what you That's right. I am king. It is a time to subdue me as a jungle king. Multiple. The reason they called me multiple. It's because whenever you saw me, your life would end at a vulture grave, aka we would step in the grave. Jack King was known as the Green King, aka. He stabbed on Kelsoy, the 
come to pass on for generations. In particular, my family have mastered the art of conducting since I was known as the King Maker in one of the great shadows. Well, this is one shadow game you can't possibly win. <laughs> Yo, 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 it's time for the greatest school of the king of games. It's a duel with Jack Cade. Let's go, let's wrap it up. Let's move our leader forward. Let's summon our own. What we got here? We got a summon leader. He's got a beard. Check this out. Running in the sky, so it's crazy. Check it out. The whole strategy. Turn in there. Watch it out. Life point game. Guess what? You're about to get some pain. Cause now I flip over the soldier. Oh, and he's getting me so hard. And he's ready to get the cone. The ice cream cone for you. I move forward and I summon right next to you. Next, I play a trap. Face down. Next, I play a trap. Face down. Oh, now I'm turn. You got to feel the burn. Let's just search. Get the. Hey, what the hell did I create my trap? Maybe this card has the uh, trap immunity effect. It'd be really funny if it did, actually. What's it gonna do? Trap the acorn? Oh my god. <laughs> Never seen that before. Look at that innocent little beaver. Able to move and attack without triggering an opponent's trap. My turn. I draw. Well then, I'm going to summon. Oh, and now we get off the course. Of course, of course. All right, all right, all right. I will summon. Right here. I'll move over here, and I will summon Curtain of the Dark Ones. Right here. Turn in the. Power increase, yummy. Elemental hero, um, Avion, the person in Trick's level form, playing Wingman. Yep, and if you attack him on the crush like that, you actually bounce all. Yeah, if you attack him on the crush, you actually bounce all, like we just did, and you'll end your turn on the water, or whatever's not crush, so. Pretty good. Don't be too afraid to direct attack him on crush, because uh, you'll always, almost always bounce off, like we just did. Good job, Rosie. Alrighty. I guess I can move this in the way. Or get in the way of this apartment. And I'll end my turn. Okay. I think I'll just move forward here. Attack. Dark Assailant. Attack. Burn directly. Nice. Nice. 
nice, nice, nice. Little LP recovery for a bottle. Yashinoki, this card gives me five to pass your life points. I When they made the uh, monkeys like Pan, Simi, when they made like Simi 4, um, Simi Sage, and Simi, uh, the other one. Like the monkeys from Gen 5, they still see dirt in this game. Because the animation looks exactly the same. Had a girl, Rosie. All right. Now, well then, I'll move the second gear, and I'll attack you with this card. I summon Lysart in attack mode. Go Lysart and destroy that air warrant of nefariousness. How dare it attack my Zodiac. Go Lysar, use oh my what a creepy monster. Oh ho ho! Four arm slash. Nice. Not bad, Lysar. Not bad at all. Now fly into the sky. <laughs> Although here, in, in my turn, my current, ah, the wit, and then I will power up my monster. With weapons, I'll end my turn. <laughs> All right, Makura. Hi, all. Well, I'll activate the spell card. Mountain, right here. If I activate this card, well then, your cards and their forest effects are the end. Meaning, I can move my current up the dark one's here, see what you're working with, and plan accordingly. Now then, I'll move this here, and in my turn, Bakura, go ahead. Toward your leader. Next, I'll move. Now he did power up this card, so I'm just gonna play this one. And I'll switch this to the base. And in the turn. Alright. Go ahead, Bakura. I'll stay here and summon this. <laughs> That's right. Now, I'll use my monster. <laughs> oh, right. 
All right. Time to try a new fusion out for you. I combine a dragon and a rock. Well then, this will make stone dragon. Go stone B. Attack his monster and wipe off the rest of his life points. Wow, it was just dark plant the whole time, huh? This is his deck later. I guess you guys will get to see its effect, which is pretty interesting. Anyway, get ready for my sand tsunami. Heck yeah, stone. Heck yeah, heck yeah. Great, great of animation, bro. I love it. Looks like you got turned to stone. Thanks to my stone piece, sand tsunami. <laughs> Roar! Heineke! Alright. Looks like I win, Yami Bakura. Ah, but before I lose, destroying my dog plants changes everything that crushed Yami. <laughs> it doesn't matter, your life points have reached zero. Therefore, you lose the duel, Yami Bakura. I win. <laughs> right. These things will be good. But you know what? There are uh there are two two dark plants in the slots, so let's go for a three in a row here. That'd be pretty easy. Oops. Well, well, so much for that. If you get fake trap, you can't get three in a row, so I guess we'll aim for power-ups, I guess. Okay. That'll work. We got something that boosts life points, which might matter. Who knows? All right. All right, guys. Well, with that, we've achieved our... Seventh Rose card, yeah. I haven't really been keeping up, but no, no way. I look. Your next field of battle will be your last. Be prepared to meet your maker. <laughs> Remember, I'm Jack King, so that phrase has more meaning than you possibly can imagine. And also realize that I am the darkness. <laughs> Yugi! Oh boy. Time to put the good cards back in. Am I right? Now, but before we duel Yugi, um, yeah, before we duel Yugi, I will duel one other person one more time. So. Alright. Huh. Not bad. Uh, let's take out this. So, go back to BC, scroll up, take out the bad cards, put in this. Uh, you can replace your bad plants for good plants, so like, yeah, I can easily swap. Uh, this boosts beasts, so like Bower Wolf. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, not probably gonna put this one in. Well, maybe. It is a power up, so. Sure. Um, let's put this in BC and go all the way down. Yeah, so, uh, probably want to throw in, um, at least. Um, this card's starting to lose a little luster, if we're being honest. Um, yeah. Yeah, it's just like, even, a. Uh, yeah, Phantom, uh, where is it? This card just outright power creeps it. Yeah, spell dies for three. Wow, that's... Yeah, so I may just take this out. Um, what else? Uh, let's scroll all the way down. Trent, no. Occubeam, yes. Um, let's go by a deck cost all the way up. Okay, okay. Um, I do want Occubeam in for fusions, mainly. Um, maybe it's time to finally get rid of this card. Yeah, yeah. Nah, I don't know. Um, what's funny is, although I've used it a lot, 
I could just get rid of the pumpkin combo altogether. So, like, and what I would do is I would just take out the only zombie we've got. Yeah, and that honestly seems like a good strategy because, yeah, we don't need pumpkin, so, you know, take it out. Um, we want this card back in. So, too many plants we've got. Um,. One, two, three. Okay. Uh, any power ups for pumpkin specifically? I don't think so, but you're gonna have to double check. Okay, okay. You can still fit in one card. Here you go. Uh, there you are, free girl. I could honestly use her on this map that's coming up. Um, let's take out. Don't we have a kill Sube? Yeah. I like more of my power ups work for her. Yeah, red. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, like two of my power ups for her. Uh, three actually, one, two, three. Wow, yeah, that's, that's an easy swap. Um, yeah, um, man, okay, okay, um. King Pog, yeah, that's good. This card's also pretty good. Um, it's Yugi, though. It's probably a bad idea to go in and just, yeah. Uh, this is good for Fusion, yeah. Uh, let's pick out... Uh, pick out one of these magic cards. Let's pick out maybe this. Well, actually, this is pretty good against you, actually. Um, maybe I'll take this out. Yeah. Uh, wing Trumpeteer. Okay, I'll keep that fine. Um, wing Trumpeteer is out for this duel only. Okay. 835? That's just about the best we can do. Um, I think I'll do the little Taya real quick for some better cards potentially, and then actually, you know what? No, no, screw it. You know what? You know what? You know what? You know what? Bring it on! Ah, so you finally come to face me. Folks. Well, I hope you're as good as they say. Because the better the duelist, the better my game. Let's do it. <laughs> Bring it on, Yami Yugi. Let's do it, baby. Let's do it. We've got this guy. Alright, Yami Yugi. This is for summoning people from their sleep to help you with your little war. I draw. Nice. Well then, I'm going to put this card face, face down. And out here, I get my turn. Defense mode. Predictable, Yami Yuki. I'm in here. Next, well then, I'll set a magic card. And... I'll move forward. This way. Turn in though. Uh, I'll move here, then I'll move. Alright, Yugi, I'll get my monster defense, and then, well, then, ooh, ooh, I'll attack your card. Ha! I knew you were bluffing. Paralyzing punch you. Well, then, I will. I'll summon two cards together. I know they don't fuse, but I just want to get the cards out of my hand. 
And well then, I'll end the turn with that, Yugi. Let's see what you've got. Running over your card? Ha! Using? I don't think so. I'm in the Ha! Your monster's been frozen in time for three turns. Just like when you used to use swords of revealing light against Kaiba. All right, you. Get ready. I am my turn, Yugi. Let's see what you got. That's right, run away. So much for the king of games. Looks like you're scared. Now take down his mystical salmon, Mr. Ryan. Good job. Alright. And, and as I said, guys, this does. I, that's what I've said earlier. It does apply to anybody. If you can get them to run toward the corner, any corner, and trap them there. Yeah, you look good for the win, so. Alright. Nice, nice. Let's go, alright. Let's do this. Alright. Check out this move, Yami Yugi. I'm gonna play a monster car. Ready? I like to call it Zone Eater. Alright. And next, well then, I'll move here and end my turn. Put this in defense mode. I don't have any female cards out right now. So, well then, I end my turn. Summoning over there. Ha! Predictable. Nice, nice. All right, Yami Yugi, I'll move in again. And well then, I'm going to fuse my Zubi with this Kyra and this magic card. Go for my new fusion called Fire Dragon. Now my box is really boosted. All right, Yami Yugi. You better make a move quick, or you're about to lose this duel. Ha! Running over your frozen monster? That's kind of smart, actually. A power increase. Very well. The Dark Magician. I would have never seen you be summoning that coming. Oh well. Let's watch the epic attack. Oh, my Dark Magician! The Dark Magician has chosen me, Flood, and now we get ready for my Dark Magician! The Immortal of Thunder has been vanquished! Oh, no! Yugi Boy! He ran over Gaia? Oh my. Wow. What a guy, man. I summon. All right, Yuki. I'll summon this car. Move it here, move this here, and move this here. And guess what, Yugi? I end my turn with that. Dog Magician Retreat. 
Ha! The magic card! Monster Replace! Retreat, Dog Magician! Well done, Yugi. However, I've got a unique clue for you. Now check this out. I'm going to make you destroy your own Dark Magician. What? That's impossible. No, it's not, and I'll show you why. Check this out. Well then... I'll start by moving this card right here, face up. Next, I'm going to move my fire effect right beside your deck leader. So, you better make a move, or else, well then, your Dark Magician deck leader is getting attacked directly. Next, I will summon this card and move it in toward your Dark Magician. I'm not afraid, Yugi. I end my turn. Nice, nice, be nice. Simon, love you too. Get frozen. Alright, I'll switch to defense. Next, Yugi. Well then. Next you get, I'll cut you off. So, I'll flip this monster. It's called Occubee. And remember, thanks to the, the rules, I can move twice with this monster. Now then, throw, attack. Wait, who has more? Uh... I think this card does have more. Alright, I'll retreat my crow, and well then, I'll attack you directly, you You want to hit down. And, well then, I'll end my turn, Yugi. Bring it on. What you got? Very well, Yugi. You forced me to do this. I know you played a new card here, so, out of an abundance of caution, ooh, baby, ooh, ooh, I'm going to fuse for a new monster, Yugi, so, I'll flip this card and build it. First, Kyrgyzstan's effect will flood the field. Then, all these all relations if you find two monsters together to form the one and only Flood Special Aqua Dragon. But that's not all, you people. It's time to reveal my face down card. I played this on turn two, Aqua Chorus. This boosts all Flood cards by 600 points. Alright, Yugi, go ahead and I'll retreat my electric blizzard this way. My turn's over, Yugi. I'll go next to my Aqua Dragon. That's how much faith I have in it, and I'll end my turn. Bad move, Yugi. Bad move. <gasps> oh man, I barely won by 50. Good thing I used Aqua Force there. That was scary. Wow. Oh, call some dragon. Dragon Flame. You may have the advantage in the wasteland, but I have Hydro Burst Stream of Destruction. Dude, that was such a close fight! Oh my goodness. You can almost metagame this bro with Curse of Dragon. Wow, wow. Close, close call. Alright. I draw. Not bad. Oh wait, what am I doing? I can win. Um. Okay, you. I'm right next to your deck leader. 
All I have to do is fuse these monsters together in a form. I may cost you, but I'd like to hit you up with Vivian Briggs. Garb Ass! Now Garb Ass, attack! Game over, you. Now send me home and give me your last rose card. And guys, just like that, you can use that easy. I'll be honest though, we did get pretty lucky. That he didn't play some of his, oh, let's say, better cards, like <coughs> Paper Force, you know, etc. So, ooh, good card, good card, yeah. Alright. Good, good. Not bad cards, not bad cards. Thank you. Because rocks confuse with a lot of stuff in our deck. So I appreciate the Stone Soldier. Now, what will happen now that we have all the cards? Ah, I lose. Um, what is that facial expression? Dude, did a burb take a douche on your head? What? <laughs> no, you this. Although the rose cards are lost to me, Henry Tudor, I shall not fault off on my cards. I. Henry Tudor, aka Yuki, on the graves of all my Celtic ancestors, swear that I will one day pull over all of England. Or maybe I should buy hell to Do you have a time machine? That was weird. Anyways, ah, you now have all the rose cards. It's time to head for Silk Hitch <laughs> Alright, let's go. It's like I'm going home, right? Yep, it's not like a, you know, an ancient evil where anything is going to be summoned, you know, because uh, Zoran warned us about mixing red and white, you know, for the pink energy. Ah, uh, the ritual is complete. <laughs> the, 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 what's with this ominous-ass music? You guys hear that? Doesn't this music scream just like, you've been successful, I to head home? No, no it does not. The power. <laughs> the world. With the power of the cars behind us, all will be harsh for the taking. <laughs> the time has come. Also, why is my facial expression change changing? Even though there's an earthquake, am I? Am I? Dreams apart, my ancestors. Um, okay, what is this guy wearing? First of all, horns? Pointy chin? Crimson chin? Dude! I'm not sponsored by Gillette Fusion Razor. But it looks like you could use one. Also, when's the last time you brushed your teeth, bruh? The spikes? Uh, what? And those things up in your eyes. What is that? What is that? What is that? What even is that? What is that? What is that? Are we still playing 20 questions? You were playing music. Kill me with that, would you? Yeah. I don't know where you got that much power from, but... No, have I really for the stain mortals? But, uh, wait, what? Player, Sam, what? Ah, I am simply Fabulous. That's my name, Fabulous. You are the ones responsible for this. Uh, it wasn't me, man. It was the guy across the street. 
looks just like me. You know, you know, <laughs> you guys know my brother from another mother. I mean, we all got one, right? I want to talk to that brother. First, you dare to summon my sleeping brother from his eternal resting place in the sands of Egypt, using him duel after duel. Brother? Exodia? Using him duel after? What are you talking about? Or is he talking about, like, the cough for Blue Eyes White Dragon? I don't know what he's talking about. Oh, you know what? He's probably talking about something in Yu-Gi-Oh! Forbidden Memories that uh, I forgot. Ah, and then you dare to seal him away again? Unforgivable. Wait, seal him away? That actually does sound like Exodia. But this guy looks nothing like Exodia, so... My brother... What? It seems I failed again. <laughs> oh, don't be so sad. I said, oh. Hold your tongue. There's no room for excuses. Nothing escapes my eyes, mortals. I demand justice. Uh, so this guy is like Kira? I shall feed on you and... Whoa, whoa, buddy. Whoa. Have you considered a diet? I recommend Special K diet. Pretty good. And your kind on every last one of you who exists on this miserable planet I meant to eat. Yummy. Uh, it's up to you, Deep List. Uh, which maybe we should tag Team Sally? This guy seems pretty powerful. Tag Duel? This even that's a big hit can only be less really addressed by you. Okay, fine. Mind loaning me a uh, blue eyes or two before I start? No? Whatever. How about your Raigeki card? How about your Crush card? No. How about your Pot of Green? I don't even know what that card does. How about your rules? I don't have any. How about I borrow your money? How dare you, bud. You know not to ask for that. Okay, I'm sorry, so no. It's alright. Now then, you can borrow this card. Uh, sure, what card is this? Don't worry, it's a card even that insignificant can spec Dewey Miller can use. This is the card I'm going to loan to you. Ready? It's called... This. Uh, what is that? Ah, the Blue Eyes White Dragon. You can borrow it for this card. But I expect it. Ah, thanks, Kaiba. Will you be unable to undo the summon? Or at least that's what the legends say. Defeat him, Flood. You can do it. Ah, quiet, mortal. It is time to avenge my brother and feed him. Okay, so this guy wants to eat people. That's not a good sign. Anyways, before we face him, I think I will face Taya once again. Uh, you know, we're only one win away from a reincarnation, so, yeah. Might as well, might as well. Alright! Alright, Taya! Time for the snack, man! Wow, nice draw. Um, yeah. I turn my in though. Excuse me. Are you gentle? Ha! How about this? Ha! Alright, 
After you're given something to eat, we egg L. Hmm. You know, it's funny. I haven't eaten breakfast this morning. I was thinking scrambled eggs, toast, sausage. Octavian looks really tiny. Look at that. Wow. I see what you did there. Why don't we turn this sunny side up today? You know, your school's gonna be over. Over easy. Uh, uh, oh, yes, yes. Clip it, clip it, clip it, clip it. Add it, add it to the highlight reel. That was funny. That was funny. That was a good, clean joke. I need flip mod. Alright, Dan. Alright. Let's have some plates so far. Good, good, we're Alright. So now, I'll show my. I'll show my next card. Shane, I'm the next one, Shane. There we go, Shane. I'm the Kia. And I'm the Kia, Shane. And I'm the Kia. Uh-oh. Good card, good card, good card. Good card. All right. Wow. All right. Well, I guess we can get it for 400 if I really want to, but no. Um, okay. Pretty good. Pretty good card there. Um, ooh, my. Well, I think what we have to do here is quite simple. Uh, jeez, wow. Yeah, let's, uh... Let's find out what this is right here. Um, yeah, I kind of do need to know. So, yeah, all right. What's that? I see. I see. Okay. That's what I thought. Um, and the other one should be her dark witch. So, not good. She could actually win here, but it's okay. The good part is, is she's nowhere close enough to summon it. The bad part is yeah, we're gonna take a lot of damage here. But yeah, this is what Aaronite Parshat looks like. Signature old school card. Very nice. Looks like Antimar, you know, kind of like a Centauri Antimar. Not bad, not bad. Alright. Alright, now how do I get out of this jam? This is Dark Witch, so I need to go like that. Probably, yeah. Um, yeah. And then whichever way she chases me. Yeah, as long as I head away from this card, I think I'm good. Uh, yeah. And then I'll do, No, I'll step here. I'll step here. Too. And I'll end my turn. Go ahead. On. Masaki. Oh my. Oh my. Not bad. Not bad. Right. So I knew that was Dark Witch, but uh, that's fine. Yeah, that hit's gonna hurt, but it's okay. Right. Oh, just a second dark witch. Okay. She did power this one up, though, with something. Uh, that creature swap was clutch, though, I must say. We almost had her down, so... Pretty clutch. But at least everything's face up, we know what we're working with, so swing all right. Okay. Alright. 
I will summon. Well, I'm down to 950. Oh, yeah. Um, all right. Well, the one thing I can do, which is actually pretty funny, so I can move here. And Taya doesn't have any beans, so I can actually use this card to block, which is pretty hilarious. And then. In the turn, yeah. I don't really know what else to say here. Um, yep, wish me luck, I guess. Alright. Yep. Congratulations. Time to do what we call a pro game move, boys and girls. Ready? We're gonna move here. I'm gonna move forward. I'm gonna put something between the spear. Uh, so let's go with this and this and this. Although I guess to be fair, if I drew a beast, if I drew a beast, we'd be good. Let's put a flame swordsman right here in the fence, actually. Yeah, that'll work. That'll work. Flame swordsman in the fence. Okay. And whatever. Turn into. Alright, we knew this would happen. As long as she doesn't flip the potion in and we're good. What's nice about this field though, I know she has the advantage, but she already had three monsters on board, so... The likelihood of her getting monster locked is very high. So. Yeah. Alright, I've got like two or three turns to figure this out. We can do this, guys. We can do this. It's just chaos. Yeah, yeah. Alright. No way. Wow. Wow, okay. Uh... Wow, so much for the beast plan, huh? I guess. No real, don't really have a choice here now. I've got to try this. Looks like we lose, honestly, which, hey, is crazy, but, uh, that stranger things happen, so, yeah. No need in keeping that. We'll dump that, and, wow, we lose, yeah. Wow. I guess I should have kept Stone Ghost there, but, man. Yeah, I probably should have kept Stone Ghost, but still, that's, wow. Ah, uh, there's a chance. There's a chance we can stall. Yeah, there really is. Um, alright, alright, Jay. Wow, wow. Wow, Wing Trumpeteer. Yeah, that's clutch, man. Yeah, there is still a chance. If we get Zone Eater or Kyration, we can stall, actually. For quite a few turns, really. Zone Eater would be preferable. <laughs> Wow, tell you, wow. Huh? Wow. Alright, alright, nicely done. If she beats us, hey, that's... That creature swap was pro. That was a pro move. Yeah. yeah. Nice, nice, nice. Nice. Okay. So the one thing we know... The one thing we know... This is a magical trap. And the reason we know this is the Herma cards. Monster 1, 2, 3... 
You're only allowed five monsters. Three, uh, four. I guess this could be a monster. Okay, because that would be our fifth. Yeah. Anyway, let's see if we lose or not. Let's hope for a blood card. Nice. All right. Looks like we're barely alive. But we can do this, indeed. So, what I want to do is go here with this. Okay, stop her from moving to this turn, right? And then we want to. Uh, we want to. I guess attack this. Yeah. Wow. Wow, man, my word. She really pulled out all the stops in this door. I mean, I don't even want to see that, but that's mercy. Wow. That's, hey, that's good for her, though. Um, now, there is a way, there is a way. Yeah. So, I had to make sure we didn't get trapped here, but there is still a way. Um, there's a way. There's a way. Um, let's move here. I don't like being that far in the corner, but we gotta do what we gotta do. Definitely move this out of the way. Alright, Ted. Alright, wow. Wow, that's crazy. This duel's crazy. Wow. This snowballed out of control, I think. Really fast. My word. Yeah. yeah that's good, though. Oh, are you kidding me? I've never seen her play so good. Never, 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 never. Uh, wow. Huh. We can do this, we can do this. Um, we can do this. We can actually do this. We really can. Let's start dumping cards. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, believe it or not, we still can do this. I know where four of her monsters are. That's the problem for her. So, we'll do this. Alright. Wow. Turn in the... Alright. That zone eater was clutch, man. Very clutch. Very clutch. Uh, yeah, I figured she'd do that. I figured she would. Yep. She tends to prioritize going after your lower power cards, actually. Which is really weird, but she is the first opponent, so it's not the strangest thing. <gasps> All right. Yeah, believe it or not, we still have a chance in this one. Though. This has been the most interesting duel of the night, though. Taya is, uh, she's playing really well. Alright. Right. Okay. But she's on water, that's her problem, so... That might help against this one. So... Yeah. Wow, let's do it. Um, just thinking here. Okay. Yeah, let's do it. Um, hmm, it's honestly not even that bad. Um, all right, let's four thousand. Holy smokes! Um, 
I gotta get away from here, so let's move here. 3,000. Uh, yeah, I better take it out now. So if she powers it up again, I've got no chance. So, luckily I drew him out of the rock. That honestly does help. And, uh, you know what? I'll dump the Nuzzler at this point. Nah, I'll keep it. I'll keep it. Alright. Alright, Kyrie Shin. Follow me. Follow me, my blood cop. And I will end the turn. Wow. That's why it's so wild. Yeah, get that out of here. Get that out. Alright, one down, two to go, everyone. Uh, I don't care about that part at all. Good, good, okay. Alright. That's fine, Jay. Yeah, that's fine. Dark monster? Wow. How many turns are we gonna go without me drawing my you know what it's fine? Uh uh, let's dump this, bro. Wow, 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 wow. That's good. Okay. Um, you can escape, and so can I. She can move two. Yeah, I can escape. I can. Yeah, that's great. Alright, alright. Uh, in the turn, yeah. Wow. Say a gardener, man. Queen of games. All right. Well, she did me a she did me a real big favor by moving this only once where it was turned. Now she can always move two next turn, but still, uh, that's kind of what we've been waiting for. Um, let's have this card flip face up. So. I don't know what the card she last played was, but we're about to find out. It is... <laughs> yeah, check this out. This is why I said we have a chance. Yeah, only 1,600. Yeah, this is the choke point. This, all these cards are weak. All three of them. So, yeah, I know that. Everybody knows that. So let's move this down. And I need her to attack that this turn, honestly. In my turn. Yeah. Nice, nice. Oh, good thing the AI is so bad in this game. Wow, that really. That almost seals it, honestly. Alright. See it, eyes, millennium eyes. Hmm. My five millennium eyes. So that Kevin played I bet you didn't see my next turn, Kevin Taylor. Let's check this out. The comeback begins now. <laughs> well, you better have the third trumpet turn. Nope. Okay. All right, Taya. All right, you ready? I'm about to play my comeback. 3,600, huh? <laughs> One, two, three, four. Nice. All right, Taya. I've got a combo for you. Check this out. I'll fuse this rock with this, and this, and this. Stone B. THT. Power increase. Yummy. Next, well then, I'll leave my THT right here. Kyrie Ship, right here. Alright, on to. I'll move here, and in my turn, <laughs> go ahead. Oh, big mistake, big mistake, big mistake, Hanzu. I saved the best for last. All right, guys, and here's our signature monster, Forbidden Memories, THT. In all his 3D glory.
I don't like being attacks in this school. This school's epic, man. But no, you are here. Slice the sky, dragon, and you shall never see the light of day. Good, your force attack. Beautiful, beautiful. All right, the HTV baby. Oh yeah, oh yeah, yeah. All right, Taya. I'll move this card over here now. And next, well then, I better get out of dodge. Yeah, we only need 3,800 here, so. Uh, let's do it. Oh, how quickly things change. Let's see. Ooh, baby. Alright, alright. Alright, Taya, I've got another card for you. Let's start with setting this card face down. Nice, nice. Alright, well then. Now then, in order to make sure you don't attack this card, I'll move right here. Then I'll move down. Then I'll move this in defense. Alright, Taya, I'm done for now. Go ahead. I can't believe I outpowered all three of her like most powerful monsters. That's crazy. Simon, no juice. A lot of paralyzation. Get frozen. Wow. Alright. This is crazy, man. How did I do this? Um yeah. Uh, let's see here. Let's go with... There are some harpy combos that can do with this. But I think I want to... Hmm. Well, either way, I do have to do this at some point. Uh, let's check Horn of Life again. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, either way, I've got to do this at some point, so... Uh, doesn't really matter when. It's going to take me a couple turns to get to this card anyway, so... Uh, but it's frozen, so I don't really care. Um, here, here. Let's defend here for no particular reason. And... Yeah, it's going to take me a couple turns to get here anyway, so... I, I don't know, let's just get here for now. <laughs> and... Let's, yeah. Alright, guys. Alright. Yeah. Okay. Okay, Taya. Okay, Taya. Okay, Taya. Okay, Taya. <laughs> I'm going to try to make this card go in defense. Um, not bad. Um, let's defense here. Uh, let's move this here to encourage the defense. Um... Let's make sure we don't make any crucial errors in the calculations. And go ahead and just put this on. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. It'll hold on tight, though. Nice, nice. Uh, Kyrishian here. Alright. Alright. And I will get the turn. Alright. Interesting. Well, guys, we just won. Um, 22 from that. Okay. 22 from that. I can make sure this isn't a trap pretty easily. Um... Well, no, I can 
afford to take some damage. Um, how much is this now? So here it would have 34, right? 34 minus 19. 13 exactly. Wow. Wow. Um, oh wait, if it is a trap, I can just run it out the GSGD, right? This is tougher than you think. This is tougher than you think. Taya also has traps, so that's what I'm thinking about. Yeah, she's got traps. You know what I could do? Ah, <laughs> uh, that's genius. That is genius, Josh. Alright, Taya, I've got a move for you. So, check this out. First of all, let's destroy this card. Bye bye. And if you're ever worried about the opponent having traps, you can trick it. Watch this. Because, uh, yeah, this will be on the mountain. So, let's just flip this card face up like this in defense mode. And she'll probably attack it, you know. Uh, yeah. So, there you go. Yep. You can always use your cards as bait and your leader as bait. So, the AI is pretty, yeah, see, yeah, the computer's pretty dumb, and it probably shouldn't have done that, but a nice little comeback mechanic. Alright, 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 alright. Alright, this could still be a trap, you know. Um, I could play it safe and attack with Kaminari, like that. Um, you know what? Even if it is a trap, her signature, that'll go up to 34. Even if it's a trap, we're okay. So go. Yes, 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 yes. Big hit. 2200. Wow. Now Tay is down to 350. So all we want to do here, remember, most of our cards can move twice on Mountain. So we want to just kind of wall up defensively here. Find out whatever card this is and be prepared for it. So let's get rid of two cards. Yeah. And with that, I'm pretty sure we've won, guys. We've got Aqua Forest from Kyrie Nation still. This is Defending. This is... We can save Pro. We can save Pro. And I'll end my turn. Go ahead, Anzu. Go ahead. Time for the bad AI to be aggressive. Exactly. 2,500. Huh? Wow. Not bad. Interesting. Taya's not done that yet. Yeah, she's still got a lot of tricks. So, all right. Now you do want to be careful with this card. Yeah, it'll cancel all your power increases. So watch out. The good thing is, I don't think Taya counts for this effect. So, as far as aggressively attacking. Um, Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't think we can do the uh, Aqua Dragon thing again. Right? No, probably not. Yeah, I'm, I'm out of all my Aquas. Alright, Kyrie Shin. It's just you and me, baby. So let's uh, move here. Let's finally give this to you. I don't know what I was waiting on. Well, I was waiting on Aqua Dragon, obviously. There you go. Um, off of here, she's only got 2,000, so that's, you know, that's not really an issue. Um... I can do this, which is interesting, and then this. So yeah, a uh, pretty good combo. Check it out. Harpy's pet dragon. You forced me to do this, Taya. Now I form the second twin headed thumb dragon. Attack. Nice. Absolutely. And now that I've got both THTVs out, it's over. It is literally over. So, 
And we've got all the seed that I set up, like 17 turns ago, so. Alright, Crow, get over here. You get over here, sure. Come on along, buddy. You were the hero. Nice. Alright, hey, my turn. What you got, Tia? Whoa. All we've got to do now is trigger all of her annoying tracks. So, that's a Dark Witch. Any double fusion will be Dark Witch, so. Alright. She's still leaving stuff in attack mode, okay. Oh, Taya. Oh, Taya. You think I can't move two? What's your problem? Uh, twin hit a thon three. Wipe out her car. Goodbye. And that's the last great thing that she powered up, so goodbye. Alright. Nice, nice. Oh, I could have won this turn, actually. That's funny. That's pretty funny. Oh, no, I'm... Yeah, I can't summon any more monsters. Yeah, I've got five out. Um, yeah. Alright. We've made it, though, boys and girls. We have made it. Um... The Pro Defense. Uh, I guess I will play this back here. Uh, yeah, that's fine. And we're down to the last card in my deck. Oh my goodness. Wow. You've got to be kidding me. Taya, calm down, girl. Alright, alright. Alright. She's fighting. Wow. She was fighting all the way. You putting that in attack mode, girl? You think I won't be Ooh, you going for this? I guess that is a fair big mistake. Big mistake. THTD, that's it. Oh yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I tricked her bad. I uh I might be putting that in attack mode. I knew I knew she'd go after either that or crow though, so wow. Well, that was scary. <laughs> We win, though, guys. Wow, what a hard fault duel. What a hard fault duel. Wow. That's kind of what I was talking about. You, know, you guys remember how earlier in the, in the stream, I was like, oh, yeah, Taya can play good. <laughs> like I'm going to lose to Taya. No, no, no. Yeah, if you fool around enough, or, uh, you know, she played Creature Swap perfectly there, and it didn't help that I spread all the extra mountain. Uh, I mean, really, this duel was my fault, really, for spreading all the extra mountain. I did not think she played the extra swap, though. I did not respect her one bit at all, and that honestly caused me to have a 30-minute duel with her. So, yeah, if you have mountain, do not play it. I think that's the main takeaway here, because that wouldn't have happened without mountain. All right. Wow. All right, Taya. You guys made some good cards here. Thank you, darling. Okay, I'll take it. I'll take it. Ooh, okay, okay. Three in a row, three in a row. Alright. Ooh, I missed about one. But, you know, the silver bow and arrow, we can honestly use that. So, use it pretty good. As well as Dancing Elf, we can also use that for some <coughs> pretty good fusions. So, alright. Okay, guys, what we want to do here. And yeah, like the whole reason I even moved her, so we can get the. Uh, another reincarnation right before the final boss. Um, that being said, um, let's just do the reincarnation first. I will go for a high level card. Um, Millennium Golem? Ah, uh, sure, yeah. I mean, this is, yeah. Probably our best bet for what I'm looking for. Dragon Seeker, wow. Pretty lucky reincarnation, to be quite frank. <laughs> about what I expect at this level. Two Seekers? Wow. Okay. 
Anyway, Dragon Seeker has an effect. Uh, yeah. 500 point bonus added in battles against dragons. Pretty weird to see two of the same card reincarnated, but hey, there you go. Um, let's pick out some cards. Let's switch out some cards. Uh, let's switch out. Uh, let's take out the Flame Swordsman. Yeah. Um, let's also take out. Take out the Crimson Sunburn. Yeah. Probably don't need it in this duel that I'm thinking of. Uh, yeah, let's tell in this. Let's tell in this. And something for Stone Soldier. Um, I could just swap out one Beat Rock for a Metal Rock. Like, um, this for this. Uh, that honestly kind of works. Um,. Oh, why not? I'll take out Firegrass and put in that other rock we got. Um, the other rock. That's not a bad. Okay. Go, Ghost. Alright, let's do it. Alright, guys. Here we go. Final duel of the stream. Still haven't lost. Man, that uh, last duel, though. Had me a little worried. <laughs> nah, it's just, I could tell we bricked. And like, the way we turned that duel around was zone eater. But I started dumping the cards. That's how we really turned it around. So, yeah. Alright, well, here we go, guys. What's gonna happen at Stonehenge? I don't know, but remember this guy was talking about eating us a minute ago? Prepare to meet your doom, Joker. I mean, uh, freak. It's time to serve my plate of mortals. This guy's kind of a pushover. Don't be scared, you know. Yeah. Happy music and all, but uh, this guy's a piece of cake. We'll see. All right. I see. Let's go with this card. Turn it up. Not bad, not bad. Um, yeah. Let's go with here, let's go with here, let's go with... Let's go with Kaminari attack. Right here. And I'll end my turn. What you got, bro? Oh my. Oh my. Okay. Alright. Hmm. This card could be anything, really. Uh, let's play. Let's get rid of some cards. Let's get rid of this and this. Let's just see what he's working with. Let's see what he's working with. Defense. Defense. Uh. So here. How's it feel? Now in my turn. Go ahead, bro. Go ahead. Wow! Not bad. Now, luckily, we are gonna freeze this card, so not too shabby. Yeah, this is Skull Knight, one of the signature monsters in this game. Pretty epic attack. I am a Nukin. Sorry, Kaminari attack. Alright. Not bad, not bad. 5,450? Pretty epic, right? You might think, oh man, this guy is impossible. Nah. He's actually pretty really easy. At the end of the, the, the day, this game's AI is still this game's AI. 
and it's really easy to make the mix of mistakes. So, in effect, here's one of them. We're going to start slowing this guy down right now. So, all we got to do is move Zone Eater right here. There we go. And I, all I'm going to do is circle all the way around and attack him. That's, that's literally all I'm going to do. So. Nice. Remember when we got this three in a row early? Guess what type this guy is? Spellcaster. But most of the time, he'll summon really, really powerful beings. So, yeah. However, we do have this, another wind monster. So, all I'm going to do is set this right here, through here, and we'll end the turn. Go ahead, bro. Go ahead. Big mistake, bro. Big mistake. Big mistake. Alright, but let's watch Skull Knight's attack once again. Big mistake, bro. But yeah, this is the only monster he's got that I'm even slightly threatened by right now. Monster! Alright, we should have this guy though. Pretty easy. Pretty easy. Yeah, it's just the AI is way too easy to exploit, so. Yeah. See what I mean? Look at the AI running over their own cards. Not too bright, I had to say so myself, so. Yeah. Alright. Okay, let's go here. Let's let's just well we know what this is, so let's attack this. Find out what it's what it's working on. So Meteor Dragon. Yeah. This card's okay, I guess. I mean, it's... Yeah, it's a, right, but it's no 54-50. And now he ran that monster over, which means we're cold. Yeah, AI's pretty bad, man. If you would impact. Whoa. Not bad, not bad at all. Alright, there you go. Alright. Ba ba da ba. 1800. Um. Let's do this. Let's do this. Let's, uh, yeah. Let's just throw this down. And some movement right here. Easy. 
Uh, let's have this car start to follow us. And we're basically going to snake our way this way and eventually attack him directly. We're going to have a Crimson Sun cut him off right here. You know, at the same time as we cut him off from here. Force him inside, and we'll get him from there. Because we can move fast on the water. So, that's the plan. That's the plan. Alright. Huh, he didn't attack me there, that's interesting. Good, good. Um, let's slow this part down. Let's do that. So what I want to do is play Mountain here. There we go. And what I'm going to do is attack this first, then play Mountain. So, yeah, let's do this. That way we'll take this card off of the dark square. Easy. Down goes the dragon. Oh yeah. <laughs> Where'd he? Alright. And to avoid the 600 damage, we will do this. So. Alright. Montagna, Tony Montagna. Very good. Next turn, defense mode. Easy. Alright. Follow me, my entourage. Go. 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 Turn in the. Oh my. Well, I didn't see that coming. Kind of I would have rather taken the damage from someone's skull, to be quite honest. I guess this might. This, doesn't this. Isn't this game? Yeah, this is the door, right? Wow. Alright, well, he got me, guys. He got me. This guy he is really easy, though. Alright. Had the blue eyes, huh? Well, there it is, guys, in all its beautiful glory. Oh, yeah, we definitely lost. My goodness. Wow. Not bad, not bad, not bad. Well, I did say we would uh, do stream until we lost. So, I guess next time, guys, on when I'm my stream, yeah, tune in and uh, maybe we can beat this guy. I mean, but you you saw what he did with the Skull Knight, though, how he, <laughs> he ran some of Skull over his own card. Well... You lost. And you know what that means? It's feeding time. Ha 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 ha. Dear brother, it's good for you. Huh. Whatever. Anyways, guys, that's gonna do it for tonight's stream. Yeah, hey, I mean, this is pretty fun, quite frank. But, uh, yeah. Let me just turn to the face cam and the couch right here. Oh, uh, yeah, we're just gonna save there. You know what? I'm gonna turn to the face cam. I'll just uh, kind of do this, and I'll slide on in here, and say goodnight to you guys. Let's see, where's my face -ups? Okay, there we go. Hey guys, <laughs> Blood Mind 14. But uh, yeah, appreciate you guys joining me tonight, and that's going to be it. Have a good night. Bye-bye. Uh, Next time, maybe we'll finish? I don't know. Maybe we'll play some more Master Duel. All right. Bye. <laughs> Bye. Bye. <laughs> Get the little side view, like, look at them, they never